All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Let me know, please, if you have any difficulty. Uh, as you see today, our topic is a question always we hear from Muslims, and the question is repeated over and over and over to the point it became useless and meaningless. The Muslim they say to you, Where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. <clears throat> Um, and even Jesus he said uh, my God and your God I mean how clear can make it more than this uh, you know obviously there is a, there is a lack of intelligence in the question because if I show you where Jesus said I am God worship me are you going to accept or just asking a question just to make it supposedly uh, uh, supposedly what you think it's a mission impossible because somebody his name is uh, did that or Zakir Naik or whatever he told you where in the Bible can show me body verse brother sister I turned you to tell me one verse it said that Jesus said Jesus said uh, God, Adam God worship me okay if I show you not only verse not only two not only three not only four not only five not only ten if we show you Jesus saying I am God worship me is that okay I mean as is, is that will make you be a Christian the answer you will say no so what this is about it's about being copy paste Muslims are generations of copy paste nobody even knows what is written in his book nobody even knows who is Muhammad you see the funny about Muslims uh, once I saw a video by a guy, his name is Abdullah Green. He is supposedly a convert, an African American. Please invite your friends, everybody. Uh, share in Facebook if you don't mind. And if you are a Muslim, feel free to call me as soon as you can. Muslims only. He was saying, You Christians, you follow. You know, you have a, a book, it's called the book of John. John who? Mark who? Luke who? The funny about those Muslims, that I can find them from their own books. Not only from our books. John is John who? In their books, it's written, John is the son of who? His father is who? He live where? In their books. So what is the point of those questions? It's just an, you know questions of ignorant people who did not even read their own books in their own religion. If I ask the same question to Muslims, in the Quran it says Muhammad. Muhammad who? Not even a single place in the Quran it says who is this guy Muhammad. There is no last name. There is no middle name. There is nothing. Who is Muhammad? Anybody can tell me? Who is this guy? His name is Muhammad. How we can find out who is Muhammad? This is why more and more we study and we search and we find discovery. We find that Muhammad, it's possible that he does not even exist in Mecca. This is why lately I heard that there's a guy who is a Muslim. He had to admit that Muhammad, obviously, he was not from Mecca, and most likely he is a person who was born in Petra, in Jordan. But for me, I don't really care for those things. I'm just going with the with the Muslims' mood. If the Muslims have a question, we have to go with it. If the Muslims have a logic, let us go with the logic. So who is Muhammad? How I'm going to, to to follow a man? I don't even know who's his father. Even in the Islamic books, they say that Muhammad is a son of a guy. His name is Abdullah. How his father is Abdullah, but Abdullah don't believe in Allah. Have you ever heard of a madness like this? His name is Abdullah, but yet he don't believe in Allah. The fact, all the evidence proved to us that Muhammad is a son of unknown father. This is why they call him 
Muhammad ibn Abdullah, which means the son of Allah. For Allah only knows who his father. In Arabic, we say Abdullah Fulan, Abdullah Fulan, which means a person we do not know his name. We call him Abdullah. Go and ask anybody. If a person is unknown, we say Abdullah. Now, if you have my books, you will read from Islamic reference, not from our reference, that the father of Muhammad, when he was in his way to sleep with Amina, the sister of Waraq ibn Nawfal, she offered him 100 camel to sleep with her, not to marry her. Because obviously the father of Muhammad, which the Muslims, they claim he is the real father of Muhammad, he was a jagalo. Because when a man, he got paid for sex, what do you call him? Any Muslim can tell me? And the funny, the Muslims are proud about it, that the father of Muhammad, women, they offer him camels and money to sleep with them. He was the jagalo of the town. The one you think he is the father of Muhammad. However, I believed that the true father of Muhammad, it was not Muhammad's father, the one they call him Abdullah. It was Waraq ibn Nufal. And I can prove it easy. But that will not change anything. Muhammad being a prophet or not being a prophet, who cares about his father? You know what I mean? You do not need to be from a big family to be a father, to be a prophet. I mean, God, he chose whatever he wish. So even if Muhammad is son of adultery, that will not change anything because God, he chose whatever he wish. The question is, if Jesus said, I am God, worship me. And if Allah says, I am God, worship me, which one we should worship? And how we can examine this person we will worship? If there is any Muslim would like to call us and give us uh, the guideline, how we can, if you, if you, are, you are as a Muslim, <clears throat> how you recognize Allah as God? What make you believe that Allah is God? Just because he said, I am God, worship me. Shaitan, he said, I am God, worship me. Anyone can say, I am God, worship me. So, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim on town? So, obviously, the logic of the Muslims about worshipping God and who is God is very funny. There's a guy he used to live in Florida. He died, I think, two years ago. He claimed to be God and he claimed to be Jesus Christ. And he have a bunch of blonde girls around him, like Al-Qazafi, you know, with short skirts and their nipples coming out from their from their bra. No, he say he's I'm God. So do you know how many people right now as we speak they claim to be God? There's a guy in Philippines, he claimed that he is the son of God. And he have tens of thousands of followers. So, do you believe in him? So it's very funny when when people they try to uh, uh, to say uh, like uh, an argument, which I find it very silly. You know, for me, if I want to see if this God is God, I will look and study his words, his teaching, and I will find uh, a logic he go by, and whatever he say, I will go with it. I, I mean, the logic to examine him. You see, the Quran give us a logic, <clears throat> and I like this logic. Muhammad in the Quran said, "Why they cannot handle the Quran? فَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِي غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُ فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا Wonderful. What does that mean? Let us translate. I will use a Muslim translation. This is a chapter 4, verse number 82. <clears throat> uh, don't they consider the Quran with care? You see, one of the funny things the Muslim they say to us that the Quran was a miracle in the time of the Arab. But as you see, they don't even consider it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see, guys, the contradiction? The Muslim, they say to us that this is an amazing book and nobody can do the same. But 
the Arab they are not even consider it as a book don't you see it otherwise why he is saying to the Arab why you cannot consider the Quran what is the problem if this was an amazing amazing Arabic language nobody can do the same it is an a, 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 a miracle I mean they don't even consider it to be a book Muslims am I saying making things up or this is how it is by the way before we start uh, some of you get upset from the admin for giving you uh, blocking your text I don't know so you start posting in the text I will stop sharing your videos uh, I will stop posting in Facebook my friend stop post everywhere don't come here if you think you're posting for me please don't do that if you think you are texting for me don't do that I am here to serve my Lord not to serve you and you are not here to serve me I don't care you support me you don't support me this is not what I'm here for don't make it as if you are doing me a favor I am doing a favor to your kids your son your child when they will come from school and he will say to you I'm a Muslim and then your idiot you will say to me oh, I'm not going to support you who care don't support me you support yourself not me I am the last one need to listen to this and to watch this trust me I'm sick of it you know what sick of it mean seriously I'm sick of this cult but somebody have to clean the garbage and obviously it's me some people they are like kids uh, in the same time uh, you know I start receiving uh, uh, pictures of those who they are purchasing my book uh, I look at this picture here there's nothing personal so I'm going to show it in the screen uh, this is my book one of you sent me this picture he got uh, variant number one and variant number two uh, I hope you guys you start reading it and enjoying the book the book is full of information and I tried my best not to make it so big because the point is not to make it concentrated with alcohol. You know, I mean, because this book is like an alcohol, it's like a crazy. The point is to make you see how stupid this cult is. You know what I mean? So the two volumes, they are concentrated uh, uh, books of, you know, reference. It's very handy and I want everybody those who got the books after reading it not before don't do what the Muslims do Muslims don't even buy the book and they make a review for the book after you read the books please <clears throat> don't forget to make an honest review if the book is, is, is garbage say it's garbage if the book is good say it's good if it's so so say it's so so don't do what the Muslims do we are not Muslims we have Mr. Nabil. He says he want to debate me. Mr. Nabil, who is holding you? Call me, please. You are welcome. Uh, but Mr. Nabil, can I call a friend if you, like, I mean, are you really so big? Like, I mean, are you a big guy? Because you are saying I will debate you and I see some confidence there. Are you really a big guy? You want to debate me? <clears throat> call me, Mr. Nabil. Call me. Feel free to call me. My, my, my ID in Skype is debate TV. Okay. <clears throat> uh, anyway, we go back to the topic. Uh, maybe, maybe, Mr. Nabil, is it the first time doing life? Yeah, you can say first time, second time. Yeah. I mean, is that will make a difference for you, Mr. Nabil? It's the first time, second time? I don't know much really about Islam. I'm, I'm going to learn from you, obviously. This is why we want you to call. You know, call us so we can learn from you about Islam. All right? Guys, stay tuned. Mr. Nabil is going to call us. So as you see here in front of us, the verse in the Quran says, don't they consider the Quran okay so the question why the Arab don't want to consider the Quran what is the problem any Muslim can tell us why the Arab they will not even consider the Quran what was wrong with it in the time of Muhammad to the point the Arab they don't care for this book 
how come the Arab today they say oh it's amazing miracle the language is amazing I mean Quran is amazing what's amazing about it find me one chapter in the Quran and it challenged me you, you open the Quran let us make a deal you open a page in the Quran any page and you challenge me to find you something funny and stupid and wrong in that page what do you think is that a good deal any page of your choice you see I don't do what people do like you know go and find a mistake here mistake there no 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 you choose the page you open the Quran tell me page etc find me an error there how about that what do you think? <clears throat> Anyone? We continue until Muslims call us what we can do. So they don't consider the Quran, and then the Quran continues saying, Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely found therein much disparency. I mean, this is very funny. First of all, other than Allah. This guy is assuming that everybody believe in Allah. <laughs> do you see the logic there? Guys, do you see the logic? If Allah here is a word mean God, we can let it go. But Allah is not a word mean God. Allah is a name. So if it is the other than Allah, huh? let us go to the Arabic and see if the Arabic fit with the translation because Muslim translation is really horrible. It says in Arabic, ولو كان من غير من عندي غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا. What? If it's not from Allah, they will find differences. But this is mean. Uh, Muhammad he think that everybody believe in Allah, and this verse is for very funny. There's people who never heard of Allah. What? What this is mean? Is that a verse for those who they are in Mecca, or this is a verse for everybody in the world? Is that a verse for people who believe already in Allah or for those who don't believe in Allah? Because what the verse means that he is assuming that everybody believe in Allah already. Or what they are saying, maybe this book is not from Allah. That's funny. So the logic here is obviously broken. The verse does not make sense. However, we continue. The Quran says, and you can change the translation, by the way. If you don't like this translation, we can, whatever you want. I mean, Shakir, Shakir, I like Shakir because I like, sometimes I watch Shakira. Shakira, Shakira, you know. Let us see Shakira. <clears throat> Do they not then meditate on the Quran? Meditate? The word that the Baron in Arabic became a date. I, I like that. <laughs> Muslim translation is so amazing. And if it were from other than Allah, they would have found in many, many dispenses. What, what is that? What's happening here? So Allah in the Quran, supposedly, He put a rule for us. If this is a book not from Him, which is funny, I mean, from Him, Allah. <laughs> It's not from him as if we are already believing that in him <laughs> that's really it's lovely oh boy what is the Muslims who want to he said want to call me and they want to challenge me I think he heard me speak in Arabic so he decided to take his tail and take a hike is that the case he wanted to call me before he noticed that this guy he knows a lot in the beginning he wanted to call me now he heard what he heard, so he said to himself, Oh, oh, have a good day. Nice to meet you. I was going to call you, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean is looking for his keys. He's going to take the car. And now he's looking for Allah and taking a hike. I never debate a debate life. Uh, we should we do it dead? This guy, he don't debate debate life. He do it dead. Ah, okay. Well, you know what? I have a surprise for you. You Muslims, you have a debate when you are dead. Two angels will come to you in the grave and they will ask you three questions. I mean, that's astonishing. You are dead and you ask questions? 
what that's beyond imagination sometimes I mean Islam my friend is fancy no 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 I did not say Nancy Nan Nancy Pelosi those things come on wake up fancy fancy Islam is a very fancy religion I mean you are now in the grave and you are dead and there's two angels they will come to you and they will ask you questions and not only that it says that you will hear their footsteps mm -hmm. and then when the funeral is happening the angels will be watching you by their own drone like they are all over your your uh, your you know coffin you are dead now you are dead but yet you are alive please give me five two angels will come to you and you should be really afraid what a horrible day and they will ask you three questions it's called the quiz of death first who's your God and if you don't answer the correct answer they will hit you with the hammer in your face stop if you like to buy hammer and you are looking for a good quality hammer please go to Home Depot we have the best steel ever even angels of Allah are using those hammers in their process of torturing our hammer is the best and you can get it buy one get one for free end of commercial <laughs> And then they ask you the second question what is your religion what is your religion man and you better answer you better answer correctly and say Islam otherwise if you don't give the right answer they are going to hit you again in the same place over your forehead but this time with different kind of hammer if you like for a different kind of hammer our hammer is the best it's better than the first commercial because the first commercial is made in china this one is made in hong kong and we have a warranty for three days not to be broken try us once you never use us again end of commercial and then the two angels will come to you again and again and they will ask you for the third time that question who is this man who is this man that will show you a picture of the prophet hold on a picture of the prophet what i thought pictures are haram muslims what's going on the angels of allah they are going to show a picture of the prophet i thought the angels of allah will not enter even a house have a picture and now they are carrying picture i mean what, what happened here hey, by the way this is the sound of the hammer you know the angel use now if there is any muslim here want to say to me what's the story i just said is a lie If there is any Muslim here, he would like who dare to say the story I mentioned about the punishment of the grave. Is a lie. Any Muslim? Hmm. Any Abdul? What kind of religion this religion is? Yeah, fictions, fairy tale stories, madness, stupidity. The guy is dead. What we will do with the guy? They burn him. 
there's many people they are burned these days they don't even bury them normally so what you were you, you will you will hit him in his head where is his head what head we are talking about by the way guys I have I have a, like a big pimple pimple in the, my forehead because always the angels of Allah they come to me and you know like when I am uh, in certain uh, thinking and they like hit me yeah mm. this is why I always I wear a hat we go back to the topic the Quran says if this is a book is not from Allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction who is the Muslim want to take the challenge which Allah provide anyone the Muslims who are in power are not original Arabs but are Indo European who are converted political reason but this guy is talking about guys what Urdu, what Hindu, what Budu, my friend, who care where they are coming from? Can you show me Islam? I'm not going to ask who are the people. People are people, they are human. Are you saying they are monkeys? They became a what does that mean? What is the answer for this? It is not that I am racist, it is a faced a fa fact period. So who care? I mean, okay, listen, listen, all of Abdul, listen. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan, looking for a brand new wife between the age of six to nine. So, what does that mean? What does this have to do with this? I'm asking you about your religion. You are telling me about the Indo European, blah blah. I mean, who care? Let us say Muhammad was a redhead. That will not change anything. Is Islam a religion from God or not? What do you know about Gentiles? Well, the Quran call you. You Muslims are Gentile. The Quran says that. You want to show you the proof? Isn't it the Quran who called the Muslims Gentile and call us the people of the book? Let us see. The Quran say that the Christians and the Jews are the people of the book, and you Muslims are Ummiyin. This is what Ummiyin means, Gentile. So you are talking about Gentile. When you are the Gentile, according to the Quran. Any Abdul? What's wrong with it? Don't give me a question mark. I don't. I go crazy with those Quran. ومنهم أميون لا يعلمون الكتاب إلا ماني. Let us see who what the Quran says about the Gentile. Chapter two, verse number seventy-eight. Do you see it? And there are among them أميون. They translate here illiterate. The fact it's not illiterate. It's it's about being Gentile. And from them they are the Gentile who knows not from the book anything. Hmm? This is what the Quran is saying. And then those who have a book is the only one is not called Gentile in the Quran. Who are they? The Christians and the Jews. Obviously, you do not know anything about your religion. You see, Muslims are is the same as a camel. He thinks his uh, his his back is straight. He cannot see what he have in his back. You know what I mean? Who is the Muslim wanna call me? I hope there is no camels are listening. These days, everything everything is liberal. They will sue you, man. Even you say the camel, he have he don't have a nice bag. They will they will accuse you to be a racist. Here we go. He speak about uh, speaking against the race of the camels. Hmm? Any Abdul? Who is the Abdul? You know we have the kid who called me two days ago. Uh, you know his name is Saud Hassan, and Saud Hassan after being spanked. He paused in the text saying he he said the F word to the Trinity. You believe it? This is how rude, savage they are. He gets spanked, legally, officially. And now he have a certified signature of my hand on his bum. All the Muslims, they want to debate you about the Trinity, brother. A brother and sister. The idea of the Trinity, I cannot be found even in the, in the Bible. If you thought the whole Bible, you cannot find the word Trinity. No, Abdul, you cannot find the word Tawheed in the Quran. <laughs> Everybody want to debate about the Trinity. <laughs> Yet they cannot make it. 
black stone kissers do we have any Muslim wanna call us who is the Muslim Sheikh who wanna by the way at the end of the debate today we are going to give you one-way trip to Afghanistan I mean it is the best place or if you have a son who would like to be graduated as a pirate we can send you to Somalia they have the best school for pirates porn in the Bible okay where where we can find the porn in the Bible in the book of song of songs where did that he found the name of Muhammad <laughs> brother brother the name of Muhammad 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 in the song of songs after number five <laughs> The stupid did that he is the same guy was saying that the song of song is the porn song suddenly he found the name of Muhammad Muhammad in the song of songs do you see the hypocrisy people do you see the stupidity the same guy who was saying that the song of songs is the porn book is the same guy later he come to us saying he found the name of Muhammad in the Bible in the same place crazy nation any Muslim want something it's halal by the way the Muslim they have obsession of like a, a, a madness with halal and in the market like if you go to, to Asia they put halal in everything but the fact you know you know what halal mean guys many stupid people think that if the if the cow if it's a meat cow it's halal that's not halal I mean people are meant there they have mental issues you know you see what the lack of education mean Anyone knows what halal mean? Many naive people they think that if it is beef, it is halal. If it is meat of a sheep, it is halal. No, or it's a meat of a chicken, it's halal. No, halal is a slaughtering an animal and saying Allahu Akbar when you slaughter it. This is what make it halal. And many donkeys these days they put the sticker of halal on anything, supposedly about the nature of the food. This is false. They are just making money from that sticker. You know, it's a business, big business. But what you can say, the earth is done by donkeys. I mean, ruled by donkeys. What is my Skype? Debate TV. But please, before you call me, consult with your parents. I don't want your parents to be upset for you calling. How old are you? Mr. Nabil, how old are you? You have to be over the age of six and above. Because the Muslim, they say Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. And not only that, they call her the mother of the believers. You believe it? The mother of the believer, she was six years old. Uh, I don't want to forget. There's a guy he posted in YouTube text. He's saying, Isaac, he married Rebecca at the age of three. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> what are you doing, Isaac? What are you doing, man? The Muslims got you busted, Isaac. Come on, don't do that. Abdul, where in the Bible it says that Isaac he married Rebecca at the age of three? You idiot, liar, donkey, stupid. What a liar. I hope donkeys didn't. Did I say donkey? I mean, I'm calling the guy who said to me that he is a. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's too much. It's too much, really. I mean, this, the knowledge of Muslims are so much. It's very hard for me to handle. I don't know what to do. And the other day, I was thinking to commit suicide. But guess what? Each time I go to the top of the high mountain, an angel, his name is Jibreel, he hold me from my pant, and he hold me, and he say, CB. CB, yes, yeah, CB. Don't do it. Yes, yeah, CB. You are a prophet. Ye. CB, yes. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He tried to commit suicide many times. And the Muslim, they say to you, do you know that Jesus, he killed himself? <laughs> Jesus killed himself, commit suicide. Where, where, where it says that in the Bible, you idiot liar. Where? Where? Why you lie? It's your prophet who tried to commit suicide many times, and I can prove it right now, right here. Jesus was killed. Not killed himself if our Lord is not a brave and he run away like he is the guy Isa who ran away that would be a different story and I will not follow him our Lord he is not afraid of death because he is above death who can kill God nobody 
So the Messiah, even his death, is to prove to us that he is the true word of God, who nobody can kill. What is the point of killing me if I will not be dead anyway? You kill the flesh, even the flesh he resurrected. Even the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he resurrected from the death people. He can resurrect people, but he cannot resurrect himself. Our Messiah, my friend, he overcome death by death, not by words. Because I can say now, I can resurrect people, I can do miracles, but you do nothing, like Muhammad. Even the Quran confirmed that the apostles of Jesus, they did miracles in the name of the Messiah. Who is the Muslim wanna call me? You don't wanna win one ticket to Afghanistan, one way? <clears throat> Taliban, they will welcome you. They are our brothers. By Allah. Anyone? Again, if any Muslim he did not hear about my new book, it's an Amazon already, my friend. Go and get your copy. It's called Six and Allah. Very beautiful book. Um, but please, Muslim, don't do anything bad when you read it. I know you. I mean, this is a book about sex, yes, but it's not to make you do it. Just read it. And I challenge any Muslim to find me one thing there I said in that book is not to prove him by reference. How many of you get your copy yet? If you don't get your copy, you better not to get your copy. <laughs> it's not good for, for people in your age. All of you are so young for this book. Very young. I'm the only one who is uh, qualified to read it. Eh, I have to read it because I'm the one who wrote it. I mean, what I can do? <laughs> but if I have a choice, I will not read it because if I read it, I'm going to leave it now. Oh, Mr. Nabil is texting me. That's good. All right, Mr. Nabil. Let me call you, Mr. Nabil. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Nabil, how are you? Thank you for hey. calling me. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is uh, nice hearing you. Uh, my English is not uh, very perfect because I speak French. Uh, I speak French very well, but I only, oh, no, very good, but, very only good. but only when I am in Germany. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so what do okay. you want to say to us, Mr. Nabil? Yes. Hmm. What do you want to say to us about your? I just, yeah, I just had a. Everyone has a, a, a view or a, on Islam, mm -hmm. if it's a negative, a negative or positive. Mm -hmm. But uh, some people don't uh, actually understand uh, the history of it or oh, okay. the history surround surround uh, outside <laughs> of Islam. Mm -hmm. What about you introduce the history of Islam or the, you know, the, let us make it simple. I'm not going to ask you anything negative. I want you to tell me no, the, no. The, the positive things about Islam, but I want you to give me reference and proof, not a speech, because you know everybody can make a speech, right? So, what is your proof? Yes, uh, of explanation about Islam. Like, what is Islam first? Do you know? No, Islam uh, uh, is actually uh, is a title. It's a title. Okay. It's a title, uh, like everyone else. What does that mean? And uh, that uh, what Islam means. Yeah. Some people say uh, it means uh, to submit. Submit. But uh, yeah, but uh, to uh, one creator. But uh, I don't think I'm not sure if this is true because uh, we are uh, like we are uh, in some of uh, oppression. And it's a, it's a form of oppression, you know. But people uh, used uh, used to forget that they have to think critical. And uh, they have to think critical because uh, they uh, they forget uh, actually uh, that uh, in Islam they you see it in scriptures you have uh, the you have your freedom. Hmm. Where, where, you have your where, yes. where we can find the freedom you are talking about in Islam? What freedom? As like what you know in Islam, as no. I know, it yes. even it even because, forces because you, that, uh, it even yes. it even forces you what to eat, what not to eat. It forces you what you can say, what you cannot say. Yes, I understand that. I yeah. understand that. But I, but with the critical thinking and with 
with I, 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 uh, I think also outside the box, I don't think also with people who are Muslim, I think uh, with everyone, this uh, critical thinking. What, what do you mean by the critical? I'm trying to understand like, uh, what you mean. Like, uh, for example, you said uh, uh, this is forbidden, we can eat that, we can not eat that. But there has, a, it has some science background attached to it. Uh, how can I say? Uh, like health, uh, is it uh, good for your health or is it not good for your health? Okay, is it, is it, uh, what is the science background of drinking camel urine? Uh, I'm not familiar with this kind of... Uh, well, your prophet, he ordered the Muslims to drink camel urine. Anyone who converted to Islam, he ordered him to drink milk and camel urine. Uh, repeat that because uh, I don't uh, understand. Anyone, can, can any, your prophet, he ordered the Muslims to drink camel urine. You know, so like. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. You were, uh, you, you, because you were very fast in your speech. Because I am uh, now I understand camel urine. Okay. Yeah. I, and where did you uh, get that source from? Well, if you want, I can show you. You know, uh, this is not. Uh, not something I say without proof. No, I understand. I understand. I understand. Yeah. If I you do you speak Arabic? Uh, not very good. Not very good. Uh, that means we are we are two now. Uh, you know the hadith of Sahih of uh, of uh, the camel urine is a Sahih hadith, and it's confirmed by all Muslims. Would not even one of them says that this is not a true. Uh, so if we go here. Yes. Let us see. Let, let me find you. I will try to find it for you in English, not in Arabic, as long as you don't speak Arabic. Let us see. <coughs> this one is not coming. All right. Let us see here. Um, hmm. Let us try a different hadith. Anyway, uh, I will show you the reference, but what, what do you say about that, you know? About a drink, and here we go. You see, Sahih al Bukhari, the name of yes. Kina did not sweet the people, etc. To the Prophet, ordered them to follow his shepherd, i.e., his camels, and drink their milk and urine. You okay, see? okay, okay. And this is the Sahih hadith, and this is the I understand. hadith of al Bukhari, hadith number 5686. So, what is, what is the logic of a man to forbid you from drinking? wine but you drink urine i mean that, don't you find that this is something weird yes and i i know actually why oh, and uh, well. that is why i i let you speak and mm. just, I, I already knew when you told me sahih bukhari because i'm not uh, you have you know that that is the problem uh, i you have muslims who are uh, following following his his narrations, hmm. and you have Muslims who don't follow what, his narrations. What, what, yeah. and, uh, because so, so you don't follow this. Uh, no, no, you don't you, yourself. No, I'm against uh, Bukhari. I'm, uh, I'm not. Uh, oh, really, you, don't, you don't like. You don't like Bukhari. Okay. I don't like uh, Bukhari or Bukhari. Yeah. All right. I don't like him too, actually, because you know, as I know, yes. he, he used to uh, accompany the Prophet just to eat good food. I mean, this guy obviously is, is, is you know. A, to me, it sounds like a nutcase. I know. Actually, it says in the hadith that we used to accompany the Prophet just to eat good food. He said that. Uh, but anyway, uh, let us go then to the... So you don't believe in the hadith totally? You believe only... No, 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 no. I, 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 because uh, there is... Uh, like, I, uh, like I say, I, uh, I'm a, I observe a lot. Wow. I, uh, okay, let us, go to I, the Quran. let us go to the Quran first. Okay. Okay, okay. How, how many prayer you pray a day? In the Quran, it says three. All right. So, you, do you pray three? Yes. All right. And how many days is the is, the, is Ramadan in the Quran? This is actually uh, another point I have to study because I, I actually coming from a background of the Sunnah, mm. and uh, I uh, mm. this this is why I try to find out and figure out how to uh, how to follow uh, the real path. Okay. Of, uh, what, okay forget about it. what is the punishment of rape in the Quran? As long as you follow Quran only, if somebody yes. rape, if somebody rape a woman, yes, what, what is the punishment based on the Quran? Ah, uh, yes, I heard of it. Uh, with the uh, was it the what the uh, how we gotta say it in the, uh, the word and uh, the whip whipping? No. This is not about rape. This is about fornication. Rape is something, and fornication is something. Yeah, it was a fornication. Yes. Yeah. 
so what is the punishment of rape in the Quran? You, you said, remember, you said you follow the Quran because I because I'm I, I was I'm not pretty sure, but uh, I I forgot. But that's what, it was a long time that people. Okay. Were I'll, and, I will uh, give you my friend. Others were, I will, were, uh, I will give you. Yes. Ten, I will give you ten years. Okay. I will give you ten okay. years from now to find the punishment of rape in the Quran because it's not there. There's no punishment for rape. The word rape in the whole Quran never mentioned. That that is why that is why uh, everything uh, what they uh, told me it was uh, with uh, they they base their their beliefs on the hadith. Okay. What is the most powerful chapter in the Quran? You think I don't want to ask you about the things I choose. I want you to tell me what no, is no. the most most powerful chapter you think is the best of Allah's statement in the Quran? Many have their own uh, own uh, opinion on that. No, no, I mean you, your opinion, you, you, you. I'm talking to you, right? I'm not talking about the many. You, as a person, if you want to convert me to Islam, what chapter in the Quran? No, no, think? I, I'm not here. I'm not here. Uh, my trying friend, to my friend, you. I'm not saying you are trying to convert. That is, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is the funny part. I'm trying to protect my friend, my friend, Islam. my friend. No, no, really. Uh, excuse me. No problem. I'm trying to protect. Just take I'm it to as, as yeah. it is, as it is. Let us, let us say, let us play good cup and bad cup. I am the bad cup. You are the good cup. All right. Now, if you are going to, to tell me something good about Islam, what is yes. the best of the Quran you like to provide? I'm not going to pick up a page and say, look how stupid it is. And by the way, this is how I talk. I'm not insulting. So I am asking you to show me the best of your Quran, and we will take a look and see if it is really the best or the worst. What do you think? This is my promise to you. Anything you provide me from the Quran, I will prove to you that this is very bad and very ugly. Anything. But, yeah. Can I speak now? Sure. Okay, uh, I'm not uh, really because this book, hmm. people are too attached to it because I, like I said earlier, people don't know their history because this book was not for everyone. And uh, this sort of uh, history timeline hmm. is not uh, suitable for now. My friend, are we going to study history right now? We are just talking about the book of Allah. And yes, Allah, yes, I know. And Allah, but, uh, Allah yes. supposed he spoke to mankind, not to history, historian, right? So you are one of the mankind and you are a simple person in the street. His name is Muhammad and yes. somebody told you um, Islam is the best religion. What do you want to tell Muhammad? Why Islam is the best religion? Do I need to be a historian to know who is Allah? I mean, no, I, no, okay. no, because you need to know uh, to be a historian to to specifically uh, specifically uh, to uh, to know uh, what's happening my when friend, you're reading this verse. Friend. You Muslims have no history of anything. Anything is written about Muhammad written more than no. three hundred years after Muhammad. But, but well, which 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 which, uh, which uh, Muslim? Which because you have you. many all Muslims, of all of you, different backgrounds. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. You can't, all, all you can't, of, my friend, all yes. of you with no exception, you have no history. You don't even have a manuscript of the Quran. You have nothing. No, it's not. Yeah. So what, the, so how you are telling me about we need to know history? It's not. No, it's, no, no. It's but you go to always uh, by the Quran. You have to go by science. You have to go by. Uh, like I said earlier, you my have friend, to go by friend, other friend, go by uh, science. Science. Okay. To, you see, to, to, come, Nabil, to understand yeah, yeah, Nabil, everything. Nabil, Nabil. Yes, my friend. You tell me whatever you wish. You go by science, by the Quran with the science. Use chemical, use chemical weapon. I don't care. Provide me something solid about the Quran to prove to me that this is a book of God. Like I said, hmm. history, tribes, nations. If you don't understand this, if you if you don't uh, go by this, you stay lost. My friend, why why my question is so hard? I see. I'm not even asking a question. I'm saying no. You. It's not. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't give me this sort my of friend. question because you see. You can't. Why, why you, you can't, can't give me? Why you cannot give me anything about? So so like what the point of being a Muslim? You this, know nothing. This you is my nothing. this is my my opinion. You can't continue. Uh, critical make critics about something that you don't even understand where okay, you're do you, coming so from. Are you because you me, have to know where are you, you are you from, saying where to me, Nabil, those Muslims coming from because you, it's Nabil, in the most yeah are okay. you saying to me are you saying to me that you do not know where those people are coming from and you yourself you are just Muslim but you do not know why you are Muslim no it's not about uh, that's okay, so a, that's let a strange me, let me rephrase the question why you are a Muslim as long you just said to me, if you do not know the history, you do not know, etc., you do not know the science, you do not know what Islam. So, why you are a Muslim? Because you 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 are basing your beliefs too much on 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 Arabs who are not even Arabs. My friend, I'm not asking. You're about thinking me. that I'm I'm gonna. Uh, I am not the Muslim. You, I'm saying to you, you. Why you yes. are a Muslim? You, you, not me. I'm not a Muslim. 
you know most of the time i hindu i like, no, no, I know I like beef so but i know I like but why uh, and, and actually why are you calling yourself an arabian prophet is a, is it what, what is your background well you know what happened like you know just this is a long story if you have time my parents yes. they were hijacking an airplane my mom and my dad this is what they used to do for a living originally they are from somalia but in their way nobody allowed them to land and my mom she was a brunette so she delivered okay. me in multi country so i was an arab i was somalian i was uh, at the end they, they land in in sweden in sweden but they kick them out again and they fly and then we went to brazil so this why I, i look differently from everybody but this is not the okay. topic the topic is why you are a muslim uh, okay. uh, no, I was uh, no. I'm certainly uh, a Muslim. I stay Muslim because I I know history. I know the facts. I know the people groups. I know everything now. So thanks, okay, I'm asking thanks you, this, my I, I, I'm happy to stay you know, Muslim. You know history. You know um, that's my. As long as you know history and you know everything, so why you don't tell me why you are a Muslim? You are, you are not giving me an answer. You are, I'm asking you why you are a Muslim. Is that because the Quran is an amazing book? Is it because? Yeah, but, uh, uh, no, okay, hmm. the Quran gives me. Now more enlightened thanks to history because I didn't understand the Quran. Mm. Now I understand the Quran thanks knowing. Really, you understand the Quran? Science or whatever. You understand the Quran? I'm not. I'm. I'm still on my way. No, no, nobody can understand okay. everything. I want to ask every, you. you see, I'm trying to go with you. I'm just, I'm just trying to go with you easy, but you are not letting me even give you a chance to go easy. No, no. So let no, us go. No. Let us go for something very easy. You know. Okay, yes. if we go in the Quran in chapter uh, uh, 86 verse number 7 6 and 7 it says that Allah he said that Allah he created the sperm from the backbone of the man and The women she have a sperm coming from the upper side of her ribs Do you really believe that women have a sperm coming from their ribs? From what from the ribs from the ribs yeah women according to Islam women. According, according to the Quran yes ah, this this one I'm not sure I'm not sure pretty sure I, yeah, I'm only sure according with, to you, with, you know, the, with the men you, as I remember you are the one who mentioned to me uh, science as I remember so yes, what, yes. what do you mean now you are not sure you know you can go and search right now and see if women have a sperm or not I never heard of women have a sperm since when women have a sperm Do your wife have a sperm? With my respect, to your wife. I'm not insulting. I'm just speaking about science. No, no, I know. Okay. But I look, look at me. Yeah, I'm. I'm. This is this is a, a sperm. Uh, this is another sort of concept about science. I, I was really st targeting about humanity. I wasn't targeting if if a woman has sperm or not. My, my, this my, is my friend, this is not what I. I my I, friend. So you are saying look, look, you did not study look, this one. You did not study this one. So now you have no answer for yes. this one. Okay. But isn't it logical for you? As how, how old are you, Mr. Nabil? I'm 24. 24. In the age of 24, isn't it for you? Is it hard for you to search? And we are in the age of computer. I'm sure you have a smartphone, you have a computer. Can't you go right now and check in the internet and see what Prophet Google piece upon him will tell you that women has no sperm and there's no way that sperm is coming from bones anyway? Actually, it doesn't even say the bones breast. This is a false translation. It says at tarai, but tarai in Arabic means the location of the necklace you know where the if, if if a woman she wear a necklace you know and then the the end of the necklace will touch the top side of her uh, uh, like if you put your finger in where where the ribs touch the neck you know guys what i'm talking about that yeah, is yeah, yeah. that is a tarai it's not the ribs it is the upper side the end of the ribs it's where if you put your finger as a female you put your finger in that location that in where, where your neck is connected to your chest that is a tribe how in the world god he says such a thing that man is sperm coming from the backbone and women yeah, sperm and coming the from the ribs. Uh, uh, sorry okay uh, continue how, 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 how the god of islam says that because this is not about translation this is arabic you see arabic is my first language yes. it says yes, and if you go yes, and the, check the translation uh, my friend, okay. all Islamic scholars agree that uh, the Turaib is the is specifically the ribs of the women, specifically, and the location of the necklace. And uh, uh, a solub is the backbone which is hard of the man, the hardest bones in the in the man. The Arab they learn that when a person he die, you know, there is a bone you cannot break. It's the backbone that you know. This is what they call it, the backbone, like it, uh, the one is carrying everything. So this is a very hard bone. And Muhammad God claim if if he is the one is talking 
that men have a sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm from the location of the ribs the upper side of the ribs by the way I noticed like once to be honest with you once I was in California in a city it's called Santa Cruz I don't know if you've been there before I no, saw I saw I saw some women they have some white stuff in their chest in the beginning I thought it's a lotion but after I did read this verse in the Quran right now mm -hmm. I am very convinced that it is a sperm what do you think that could be that could be it could be I, I'm not I, I can I can't uh, I think those women, they, they, I think those women they were having orgasm in the beach but this is it I don't know it was saying Nivea sperm something like that Nivea lotion so this is a new kind of a sperm woman they put it in their chest my friend what are you talking about what do you mean could be women they have a sperm in their I, chest. I, I, honestly honestly I don't care because I, I I was just telling you I study other specific things about science because this this uh, this doesn't benefit me for for uh, uh, for my 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 uh, my future. No, my friend, it benefit you if you get married. Now you know where what women have. Women they don't have a breast. They want, they have balls testicle. I mean, they have a breast testicle. As you see, the Quran is not saying women have a breast. The Quran claim that women have balls there. I mean, what do you mean it doesn't, it doesn't benefit you? Are you? I, I, we should show respect to Allah teaching. If Allah is saying so. Either Allah is saying the truth or Allah is fake. This is the whole point. So do you? No, no, no. And but but thing but things are. Uh, this is the translation of Faraz Hamza, Tasfir. My friend, do you know? Do you know this guy who is? Yeah, I I, th I think he used to play baseball. Who cares, my friend? This is the official no, government. No, this is this is the problem because uh, you know when there when you have people ruling over ruling over other people, uh -huh. they can do anything they want. They can. Rewrote his rewrite history. They can everything. They my want. friend, who care what this guy you, said? I no, I, that is the problem. They my can, they friend, can no, such no. Things my friend, like my you, friend. No they problem. can say no who problem. Cares no who problem. Me. What this can, is the problem, my friend? Can no, you read for me, a, my friend? Ajalalain. This guy is translating what Ajalalain said. It's not him Ajala. saying that. Ajalalain. Yeah, Ajala so I'm Ajala sorry. Lane. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, yeah, Ajalalain is a very well known. The the the, the name of the book. A he is a, of a, he's very, a, he's very, a yes, a very well known scholar. It doesn't matter, but the, yeah. But a very known scholar can be a corrupt scholar. Uh, I don't okay. care, if okay. He, but he, all the scholars, they all, 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 all the scholars, when, he, when he's a sooner, he's a corrupt scholar. My friend, I don't care. All the scholars agree that this is what it says. I mean, yeah, but the, the majority of all scholars are all sooner. Okay, this hold is on, what hold you on. don't care. Okay, now, I, now, I okay. study all this. Are, things, are you saying nobody understands the Quran? No, because, because, uh, because not about, if about all the scholars, the Quran, I mean, who in the world would it's like, it's like, uh, it's my like friend, my friend, why, why in the in world? English, yes. Why in the world you are saying all the scholars are, are corrupt? I mean, there's no way everybody is corrupt. I mean, come on. No, the famous, the famous, the famous are all. Ah, okay. Corrupt. Give me someone is not famous, and we will take his opinion. You're telling me. You're telling me. Uh, Sunnas are to me. I'm. I'm okay. Should I'm, I give you I'm Shia? Should I give you Shia? Is that okay? Shia, the same thing because Shias ah, today are not the, okay. So the, Shia is corrupt. Sunni is you, corrupt. No, no, the whole yeah, Muslims are gone. I so what's left? I study their nations. I okay. study their, their nations, my friend. I uh -huh. study their history, their past. Okay, my friend. Before they were the Muslims, I study everything. I know, thanks to this, I know who those people are, and I know who to trust. Okay, Nabil, you now as a Muslim, if you want to understand yes. this verse, how you will understand it? Forget about those scars. As long all scars are corrupt, huh? All of them corrupt, as you said. Okay. Now you as a Muslim, you want to understand what this verse means. How you can do that? As long all the scars are bunch of shish kebab, falafel. How what we will do now? What is the solution? The solution hmm. the, the, you can have always a solution. There is a there are only no scholars. You have people who are unknown and doing uh, the best scholarship who are having the best scholarship. Hmm. But are not presentable to uh, okay. Can you okay, can know? you find me one of your best scholars who they are explain this verse? Sheikh uh, Anti Diab. Okay, can you read for me? I never heard of them. Can you tell me what he said about this? About what his name is? Uh, what? About this verse? Yeah. I what, don't what, know. What, okay. what his uh, name? What his name is? Anti what? Anti what? Uh, anti anti. Oh, wait, uh, I'll uh, try to find if uh, the spelling was right. Is he French? 
He's a uh, African. Ah, African. So an African guy who don't speak Arabic is going to explain the Quran for you. That's no, amazing. No, he, he understands the, he understands ah, Arabic. But you people, that's that's a problem. That's a, ah, actually uh, that's a problem. What many ah, people think. Many people, many people are thinking that ah, those are just Africans. But many people seem to forget ah, their history. Okay. And and I, I I and and I know. Uh -huh. That those people are more connect connected with the Arab, Arab uh, Arabian bloodline than the people are today. Mm. And how you discover that this guy is a trustworthy guy? I mean, what make you think he is not corrupt the same as the, the rest? The actions, the actions. What action? Like what? He eat? Uh, she's uh, uh, Sheikh Ant Antad Diop. Uh, we spell our way. We say A A N T A mm. Anta. Mm. Yeah, but how, then, but how you know that he is? What do you mean by the action? I mean, there he's is from, he's from Senegal, and I know. Oh, I so know he's because I know because he is from Senegal. Ah, so everybody in Senegal is a good person. That's it. I am. No, from no, it's, no. Don't okay. Don't start I am like from Senegal too. But people, no, don't start. Uh, don't start like this. This is not uh, my point. Ah, my point. Okay. This uh, you can ask everyone. The vast majority of people, ah. what are Senegal? What are uh, who, how are they? And many are going to tell you they are good. Mm. I don't have to tell you this. Uh, go to tell uh, the vast majority. I know this personally. Mm. You know, and him? I'm not, uh, okay. personally. What I, about what about you? Invite him to debate me. What do you What do you think? He will he will he will do it, or he will run away. He, <laughs> this guy is uh, he's already uh, he's already booked. He's uh, yeah, and since 1986. He lost his life. Ah, he died. Well, you know, I can go there because I do remember the prophet said you will go to the grave and the two angels will come to you. We can have it. My friend, so you are quoting for me a dead man and you are cannot quote for me what he said about this verse. I mean, what what, what I can do it's, now? But everyone is you, quoting you, the you, Nabil, is you, let, me, let me tell you what you are trying to do. You are trying to no. escape. You are trying to escape the reality. That is no. Terrible. I'm not trying to escape. Then the give, me, give me just a scholar. Give me, then you, give, you, me you, a, Nabil, just give me one. Give me no, a just give me one, uh, last fact, my friend. Just see the difference between them and the others. That's all my, my friend. I don't care who you bring. No, me. no, no. I want, it's not about I want I you. It's about I, a, I, a I want you to show me Statement. what this and verse means. Uh, as simple as that. You who you choose, I don't care. Yes, who yes. you choose, I don't really care. Can you find me? No, I, I, the, look, I'm a, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, Say things like this, uh, this uh, about I don't care, I don't, I don't care, because this is already a, a proof of so, how, how so you, what, so you what, don't respect history. And so what we will do now? Okay, you how you how I can some, how I can get the answer for this? Are you in vain or something? Because this is not a uh, because you you say how much you say uh, you don't care because this is not uh, a way to act. No, no, my my friend, this, my I don't I don't care. It's my name. When my mom she gave birth to me, she called. No, me. no, no. I don't call about your. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you. No, you. I'm saying this is my real name. When my mom she gave birth to me, she called me. I don't. No, care. no, I'm not, not saying about ah, your okay. name. I'm saying about uh -huh. why you you uh, you act this way about. You say you don't care. You don't care because I want the answer. How I can get the answer? Because I'm. You can get the answer from, from the past. From where? The, it's show, like a, a, a. Show me. Okay, a, you are the, my friend. It's, it's like a policeman. You, or you, a, a, you are. A, a, you, you are the you Muslim. Has to know you, information. You, you are people. the. You are the Muslim, not me. Can you give me the answer, please? This is the holy question. Can you give this, me the answer? This. This was my answer. What? I just gave you my answer. What is your answer? I want the answer. Give me the answer. What does this verse mean? You choose any because I, when I when I show oh, you, no, no, no. I already told you. No, no, you. I already told you this. This verse. Mm. We we talked about uh, Faraz Hamza, and then we talked about something else. But I was telling you, Faraz Hamza. I'm not down with him. I'm not because he's a Sunni scholar. I'm not down with Sunni. My Sunni friend, scholars. Faraz Hamza is not even a scholar. He is just a translator. What are you talking about? A translator or whatever he is. Yeah. So what does have to do with my topic? My, my topic, my friend. I don't care. He's a Hindu. He's a Buddha. Give me a. Give yeah, me the, Buddha. Can, you, you, know you, give, can you give? Can Buddha? you give me? Can you? Can you give me? Can you give me the answer for this verse? What this verse mean? Because obviously you will not give me the answer for simply you are trying to escape. That this Islam is no, not valid. No, 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 no. I was already telling you that this. I, I, me myself, have to study this verse because I can trust okay. this guy. Can you give me a verse? Okay, I for, cannot, my friend. Because he's a student. then forget about this verse. Can you give me a verse you understand?
Which verse I will, uh, you want to give? Uh, no, no, you, you, give? you choose for me a verse you think it's very like the, you know. Have you ever heard that uh, Muslim they say there is science in the Quran? Did you study any of those things, like as an example? Look, look, look! I don't follow your uh, your Muslims that you are mm. thinking cr uh, critical, uh, critically uh, about or neg negatively. Uh -huh. I don't follow them. Uh -huh. So I don't. I, I'm not here to, okay. to give you let us, quotes let us or, make or, or, let us or scriptures make it, about the Quran. I'm just let telling you it how to use the book. How you can use the book if you do not know the meaning of the book? What are you talking you, about? The, Each time no, I give you a verse, you, you, don't, you, you don't, don't, don't know how to use it. You just reading. You just uh, trying to get better. Uh, okay, I want to ask you. I want to. I want to. I want to ask you. Doesn't mean that the Quran, you understand okay, the Quran where it's going to. My friend, the Quran says, "Cut the hands of the one who steal." How we can cut the hand? Teach me. You are, you are saying to me you do not know how to use the book, right? <clears throat> okay. The Quran says if somebody yes. still cut his hand, steal what? And what we will use this cutting hand for? Steal for anything? The problem is that you, you think too literally about a thing that is written down. You you think it's literally uh, cutting someone's head? Ah, who it thinks, is not literally. Uh -huh. who, who, who thinks it's it's something it means something else? Uh -huh. It's like a, it's like Eve Eve, Eve was stalking to a, a snake in the garden. Uh -huh. who, all dumb people here and even in the chat are all stupid and dumb. They are all thinking that uh, it was literally a snake. Okay, so when the Quran says beat your wife, is that literally or like no? In chapter, how, how, in chapter, the beat, beat, in chapter the four, beat, the word beat. Yeah, the word beat in Arabic is udrubuhunna, beat them. Yeah, but how do you translate it? Do you translate it uh, in English and Arabic? Because friend, this is the I do not, mistake. I do not need translation. It's my yes, first. yes, you need because no, I, I do not need. I do not need. I'm, I'm already before English. I am an Arab, my friend. I do not need. Yeah. You, you need though. You, you are the one who need translation, not me. No, so no, I'm asking no, no. you. You also need to, to translate friend. because you're connecting with me to. My, this this my, language. My if I was friend, talking to you friend, in English, uh, in you Arabic, me? this is a, a problem. Why are you the one give me? I am talking to you English. You are the problem. You having a problem my right friend. now because you are not using the right translation. Okay, give me the right translation. Oh, go ahead. Go to uh, go to Indo-European. European are the oldest translations. The old Norse what? are the oldest tran oldest translations already done. What what translation for what? Urdu from. Like, like, uh, no, no, like, uh, listen, uh, Sunnah. What does Sunnah mean hmm. to the most of Muslims? What Sunnah mean? Tell me, I'm learning. Many, many say, uh, like, the uh, the, uh, hmm. the what's false is hmm. they say that it's a tradition or the way of life which is false to me. Hmm. I know what it is, but I know I'm uh, that's why I, 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 I uh, correct myself and I'm, I'm trying to go more specifically because hmm. people are, are thinking, uh, that uh, it's easy. Uh, so to, so to let us let us see what happened, uh, uh, Nabil. After speaking to me for more than half hour, you gave me no answer about anything. You did not tell me why, Muhammad. No, okay, can you no, can, just, you, can just, you tell me? Can you tell me why? Why, I why you think? One word. I just okay, said one, on. one thing. My friend, I said my friend. if you don't understand the tribes, let us make it simple. There, there, you cannot do anything. You let can no problem. You can just simply uh, no. do things. No problem. Because Listen, 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 my friend, my, my, the, friend, the my, my friend, my friend, my friend. No, no, you can't. Muhammad is, you, a, pro Muhammad is a prophet, yes or no? Ju uh, just listen. Muhammad I is a prophet, said, yes or no? Muhammad said, is a prophet, yes or no? Muhammad is a prophet according to Muslims, yes or no? Do you believe he's a prophet, yes or no? A prophet or a messenger? I don't know, I'm asking you. No, I'm talking, can you be a prophet without being a messenger? No, the sometimes uh, yeah they are only prophets and they don't deliver. Just what what does that mean? A messenger who is giving you a message from God. Did there's anyone else know it except him? No, because it's in the family. No, no. Listen, what family? What in family? their family, in their tribes. In my their, friend, my friend. Lineage, if God the, sent a messenger, the, the, hold the, the, on, the hold on. Was meant for no, the if the messenger, a messenger sent from God, is he yes. a prophet in the same time or only he is a messenger? He's a messenger. So he's not a prophet. Well, that depends on what the Quran says. Do, do you know what prophet mean? What prophet mean? Prophet. Yeah, what prophet mean? Someone who is prophesying. This is simple. Mm. Prophesy prophesying a prophet. 
You know, that, that's why I'm telling you, I know what's happening. I know titles, I know everything. My History, friend, when a messenger, nations. when a messenger, he come to you from what abroad. Is what is Christ? Listen, listen, you, don't, you, change, don't, change, don't change, don't change the topic, you, don't change the topic. When no, a messenger, no, when a messenger that. come to you with message from God, if there is anyone else between mankind, they knew the message already only, or only the messenger. When a messenger, listen carefully. When a messenger come come from God, God He sent the messenger, huh? As an example, as an example, Allah He sent the angels to Mary. Hmm? The angels they told Mary that you will have a son. His name is the Messiah, and he will be holy, and he will be from the close ones to Allah. Are they telling prophecy, or not? Is that something everybody knows, or only the angel who told this woman her name is Mary? That news that is a prophecy because he's speaking about the future. You will have yes, a son, yes. But there so were things this is a messenger, were... a messenger. Then he cannot be a messenger without being a uh, prophet. No, because this is as long as the one who sent you listen, listen, listen. listen, listen. Not, listen, listen. You are wasting my time. Yeah, Nabil. You are wasting my time. You are very confused. So, a messenger, no, no, Muslims, no, no, no. Muslims are very confused people. They mix between things. They think they think they think that there is someone who is a messenger and someone is a prophet. That is not not smart. Now, I'm asking you. Whatever you think Muhammad is, is Muhammad a prophet or not from God? Yes or no? He's a messenger from God. So he's not a prophet. That could not be. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm asking you. What do you mean, not sure? Yes or no? Is he a prophet or he's not? You confirm that he is a messenger. Mm -hmm. But what about being a prophet? Is he a prophet? I, th I think I think he is you think okay can you give me a prophecy? mistake can you give me a prophecy as long as you believe in the Quran can you give me a prophecy Muhammad he gave in the Quran I mean this is easy you I said, don't have a Quran with me it doesn't matter you just said he is a prophet so what make him a prophet for you and you don't remember one prophecy he gave maybe wasn't he telling about the end of times where y you tell me I will tell you as an example. If you if you think you know better than me, you you, so, you should also know. No problem. I will give you. I will give you a help. All right. In the, I, I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm trying. I'm honest here. I'm not trying to hide myself. On my me. friend, no problem. No problem. You know what? Your prophet. Your prophet said that is Shah yeah, That's that's a mistake you my make. Friend, you my say friend. your prophet. Your prophet. You think I, that I'm. I like. I have all my prophets. I'm not putting one prophet. I don't on, care how many prophets you have no, in the no. shelf. You say you don't care. No, don't no. Care. According you're according to Islam, those are not your prophets because you convert to Islam by saying Shahada of the name of Muhammad, not the name of Isa. Now listen carefully. No, no. It's you're not a prophet. He said in the chapter look, of the moon. Listen, look, Nabil, follow, Nabil, follow Nabil, 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 Nabil. You're a prophet. I don't care who you follow. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. You put your prophet. You feeding me? Ah, son. Listen. Your prophet no, said, sorry, your, sorry. Prophet, your prophet said uh, that the moon split and judgment day is very near in the corner. That is a false prophecy. The moon never split and the moon. But where, where does it come from? Where is you, you, where are you backing this up? From the Quran. The Quran says that. In the chapter of the moon. And what did, uh, what, uh, what uh, does the does the chapter, uh, chapter say? What, what does it uh what it says? It says اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر. The judgment day is sight and the moon split. But there's nothing split and judgment day never come. And he said that 1400 years ago. Yes, but the problem is uh, people are in a, in, on a false on a false or a wrong time frame. Mm. So, like I said, like I said, different. people uh, thinking that the Mahdi is still gonna come. Mm. The Mahdi already came. Mm. He have, already have, came. have you ever already... have you ever seen the moon split to pieces before? This is not literally like this because you. So you, what? You what it is? You're reading like this, but you have to. Okay, understand. according to the scholar you like, the one who died, what he said about this verse. I don't know because I, I'm just telling you. Uh, mm, you don't know. This was one of the. All this right, one all, right all right, Mr. Wayne. Thank you, Nabi. Thank, thank you for calling me. I mean, what I can do with this guy? This guy, he answered me with, I don't know. So now he don't know, I do not know. So we have two more ne we needed to play card because we need two more 
people who do not know we can play cards he do not know I do not know okay this is the religion of I don't know nice to meet you hmm? <laughs> I don't know I mean so, so good my friend my friend somebody told me this guy is a kid I talk to everybody kids kids are the children of God too and we need to help them is that correct guys so don't don't say I don't talk to a guy because he's a scholar and I don't reject someone because he is young or and this is not doesn't make any sense we talk to everybody we give help for everybody we give him time we listen and I am sure this guy he learned a lot in this 15 minute 20 minute he's talking to me you never know what will happen next he just faced a lot of serious questions in his faith and his religion we need to talk to everybody and don't tell me I talk to who please everybody is important everybody is a child of God everybody our Lord the Messiah he loved them all actually he said to us if we don't became the same as the little ones we will not enter the kingdom of our father So I'm here to serve all. A child, an old, a woman, a man, it doesn't matter. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Thank you, Nabil, for calling. I appreciate what you try to do, but obviously you have no idea what Islam is about. We have Mr. Saud. How are you, Mr. Saud? Thank you, Nabil, for calling. Mute, mute, uh, mute your uh, YouTube, uh, Saud. Saud, mute your YouTube, please. Hello? Yes, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Saud? So you were asking that what are the reasons we Muslims have? Okay, first, uh, we have a dialogue. I want this rule that when I'm speaking, I don't want you to speak or interrupt me, or when you will speak, I will not interrupt you. Can we have this rule? Look who is talking. <laughs> Go to the topic. What do you want? No, can we have this rule? Yeah, we have the rule I since start. yesterday. I have to mute you yesterday. You know, you remember? Because you keep talking forever, you never stop. I will give you I will give you okay. I will give you one minute to say what you want to say, and I will give myself one minute. Is that all right? Yeah, that's correct. That okay, go ahead. Perfect. Okay, go ahead. Let that's me perfect. let me okay, so let me let me turn the clock in the screen so people will see that we have a clock is running. And sure, sure. Uh, let us see if I have it. Here we go. That's uh, fair. Okay, actually, this is this is a clock run by two minutes at a time, uh, but we will go only for one minute at a time. Let us see. Okay, is it running or not yet? Let me see. Hmm. Do you have a fan there, Mister? Uh, uh, okay, I don't know why it's not running. Let us see. Generator running right now. Uh, Look like I have to make it run. Hold on. All right, your two. I will give you two minutes. Go, start it. Okay. So the reason I believe that the Quran is the here's a beep sound. Go ahead, my friend. We are listening. Your minutes is running. Okay. So. The reason I believe that Quran is an inherent word of God is that mm. because it predicts lots of stuff, right? For example, in the like in the 20th century, it was discovered mm. that our universe is expanding universe, mm -hmm. and uh, for, and it was discovered by uh, Hubble. Uh, he is, I don't know the name of the science, scientist, but it was discovered in the late uh, 20th century, right? Mm. And in Quran, if you if you would, there's a buzzing sound. My friend, if you continue. Just open, continue. We, are, we hear you. No if worry. you just uh, open the Surah 51, verse 47, mm -hmm. we will see that uh, it, the translation is that we built the mm -hmm. heaven with mm -hmm. strength and we are still expanding it. So mm -hmm. there is no way that the person living in the 7th century could have possibly any idea that our universe is an expanding universe. That's my one argument. Mm -hmm. Finish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where it says that the heaven is expanding? Can you please open the verse? It's in the front of me. Who is the scholar who said that this is about uh, Hubble and etc.? Where you get this from? Open the open the verse with forty-seven. My wait, friend, wait, wait, it's in front of me. It's in the screen. Everybody can see it. 
okay, chapter so 51, open verse the number 37. Okay, what, what, what translation you like? Sahih International. Ah, Sahih International. We have to go to Sahih International. This one here, you really have not have it. Hold on. Sahih International. Google it. Uh, don't worry. We will show it to you. 51, 47. Okay, there we go. Quran. One forty seven. All right, Sahih International. All right, here we go. This is Sahih International. Read for us, my friend. It's not on the screen right now. It is in the screen. It's not on. Okay, yeah, it's not right now. Hmm. So, what it says there here? Read for us. Okay, uh, and the heaven we have constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. Mm. So, this is about expanding what exactly? Expanding heaven, expanding universe. This is about expanding the universe. Yep. Which scholar is the one who gave you this meaning? Is that your own assumption? I think. Uh, uh, may I speak? Yeah. Who is the one he gave you this interpretation? There are lots of scholars who have, there are lots of Arabic scholars who mm. have re researched on this mm. and they have concluded from the, not only from the translation, but, but also in the tafsir, mm. lots of the tafsir. Okay, uh, what tafsir? That, Name one for me. Uh, well, I, I don't have knowledge about tafsir because I haven't ah. gone into the tafsir. So who is the scholar? And is a scholar we can find him, we cannot find in the tafsir anyone saying what you said to us? Is that what you are saying? No, my point is that if you just read the translation, my you can friend, get the no. My concept. friend, my friend. First of all, the expansion mm -hmm. of the universe is exist in the Old Testament thousand of years before your prophet is even born. If you go to the book of Psalm one o four, you will see how the how the Bible says that God He extended the universe as a curtain, which covered okay, Himself show me the, show with me light. Your Bible. No problem. Here we go. Um. All right. This is the Bible. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? So the first thing you just said, that the world nobody discovered this before, it's a lie. Second thing, there is not even a single Muslim believe in what you just said. Except today, it's in the, in, in, in it's the internet, it's in the inter internet, people today, they try to make something out of it, which is a lie. Because not even a single scholar, can you name one scholar for me, agree with you? About this Zaki verse? Zakir Naik is a scholar? Yeah, Zakir Naik, he said in the heaven you will get versions, and the versions are male and female. Do you agree with him? Your mother, I don't agree with him. You, on you, every, you're, 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 who is Zakir Naik? Zakir Naik, he doesn't even know how to know how to the Quran. What are you talking about? This guy, he's not even yeah. an Arab, he do not know how to read Arabic. What are you talking about? Listen carefully. Okay. No, I, either you, no, 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 the guy he was texting no, a picture to the, the women. This guy there is a scholar. Since when he got a scholar? Oh, okay, so you're just uh, bashing the What scholars, is your scholars? Uh, you know, on, on, you, on. I, I asking you for a scholar. You give me a Jalalain, you give me a Nikathir, you give me Al Qurtabi, you give me those idiots. What's wrong with you? Why are you are talking about those people who who didn't have because any they sort are, of, you, you uh, just say, you just said sort of you just said you didn't agree with them. What's wrong with you? Do you agree with them or you don't? I agree with him on ninety percent. Ah, like you agree said, only in what you like. So he's a scholar when you want. He is an is a, he's a, he's a dump you when cannot, you want. So you is cannot he, agree. With, my, listen, 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 listen. When we say when we when we say when we, when we say, when we say a scholar. scholar, when we say a scholar, we mean a scholar, not not a guy, a kid. Now but let me ask you: Do you agree with your Do you agree with your prophet? Do you agree with your prophet? Do you agree with your prophet? Yes. Do you agree with your prophet? Yes or no? Why are you changing the topic now? I'm not changing the topic. Is it, is, it, is it better to see? Is it better to You're see the open? The uh, set, shut up, idiot! Oh, oops, kid, kid, kid! Listen, I'm not, I'm not your classmate. Listen carefully. 
I'm asking you now seriously. I'm also not a Qatari. Who is who is your who is better to listen to your prophet or Nu'man Khan? I'm saying that Numan Khan. I am Khan saying Numan Khan or your prophet choose. I okay, want you so to you give me. An, to I want you to give me an me. answer. Just say say Numan Khan is better than the prophet. Say it. I challenge you. Go ahead. Say no, it. Numan Khan is not. No, no, he's not. So I'm asking you, why we don't go and see what your prophet said about this? What do you say? Prophet clearly said in the Quran uh -huh. that yeah. the universe is expanding. Is it? It's in the what Quran, you, you what your it. prophet understanding of the verse? He understand the Quran very well, or your Nu'man Khan understand the Quran better than your prophet? See, there are many interpretations done by the people. Why you are running away? Prophecy. Why you don't want to see what your prophet said? Is there a problem? Do you, do you don't uh, trust? Do you consider your prophet a prophet, or you consider him not a prophet? Let me let me speak, or do you want to speak yourself? I'm asking you. Why you don't want your prophet to explain the verse for us? If there is a problem with your prophet understanding, okay, show me, show mm. me. No, all right, okay. This is Ibn Abbas, and this is the cousin of your prophet, and he is speaking according to your prophet. He's saying, and also say this mean we expand the provision, therefore. Tafsir Ibn Abbas, okay, this mm. is the Tafsir Ibn Abbas, yeah, Ibn Abbas. Who is Ibn Abbas? Who is Ibn Abbas? I let me let me make this very clear. Ibn who? Abbas is not God. Ah, uh, is your prophet his God? No. Okay. Let us read together. This Ibn, is a Oh, so you are so you are just using the tafsir done by the people and making your point. That's that's what you do, man. My that friend, is what you do. You are, you, you are the one using the tafsir of somebody who don't understand. Okay, you know what? Give me the Aman Khan understanding. Give me the Aman. Give me the Aman Khan, the kid understanding. I challenge you. Let us laugh together. Give me, give me the book. It's called Tafsir Nu'man Khan. Give me the book. You said Nu'man Khan is a scholar, right? Don't you have a book, Tafsir? Abdul, are you there? Yeah, we lost you. What happened? I think, you, I think you will mute me right now. No, I did not <laughs> mute you. I'm asking you. I'm ch I'm challenging you to give me Nu'man Khan book. Of, it's called Tafsir. I want to read it. You are reading the tafsir of X Y Z people. Abdul, potato, don't point. waste my time. Can you give me Nu'man Khan book? You said he is a scholar. He gave interpretation for this verse. Can you give me his book? I want to read it. Okay, mm. leave the scholar. Just read the translation. No, I did read the translation. Forget, scholars. forget, forget the scholars. Just, just forget the scholars. Abdul, Abdul, are no you are just a potato. No you are just a potato. All your scholars get you busted. And let me show you what your prophet said. And this is why you don't want to read your prophet. Let us go, guys, and see the science of the prophet. What he will say now, he's a prophet, is an idiot. Let us see. He's a prophet explaining the universe. Let us see what Muhammad said about the universe and the creation of the universe. Obviously, you know, Man Khan is smarter than your prophet. Your prophet, obviously, he is suffering from mental illness. This is your prophet explaining. Hmm. Read with me. And he is explaining the, the Quran in the same time. All right. Read carefully. I hope you will say to me, let us read Nu'man Khan. Nu'man Khan have no book, you idiot. This guy, he doesn't even have a degree. Nu'man Khan. Where is the verse? Here we go. The prophet asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes? At the time of the sunset, I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said, it goes, i.e., travel, till it prostrate itself. Enter the throne, and it take permission to rise again. So your stupid prophet claimed that the sun goes every day from the east to the west and asking for permission to rise again. And you are telling me the scholar Nu'man Khan say. And you are telling me the universe is expanding. That verse is speeding that Allah supposedly will give you more. He expand more. It's about wealth. Have nothing to do with the expanding of the sky. However, we showed you that this is exists in the Bible thousands of years before your prophet even exist. So let us say for the sake of argument, if that verse is a true, and if it's mentioned thousands of years before Muhammad in the front book, what is the miracle about it? 
And why the Christians and the Jews don't make a big deal of it? Do you know why? Because what a big deal. What a big deal. We are not going to prove God because it says that there. You Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. You have tons of stories proving your God to be a false God, like the sperm coming from the backbone, the sperm coming from the ribs. So Allah was saying a miracle in this verse, but he was saying something stupid in that verse. You guys, do you know what I'm saying? If Allah is God, if I go right now and make a prophecy, I says, hey, the universe is expanding, but somebody will say to me, this is existing in the book of Psalm, my friend, long time before you are born, and your family is born, and your tribe is born, and your nation is born. So you told me nothing. It's in the front of you in the Bible. The Bible is the only book in history that says that the earth is hanged on nothing. Is that correct, guys? The earth is hanged on nothing. On nothing. How are you, Saul? Is that correct, guys? The Be earth is hanged on nothing. Mute your YouTube. On nothing. How are you, Saul? Mute your YouTube. Hello. Yes. You, you just said that earth hangs on nothing according to the Bible. According to the Bible, it says that earth has pillars. I can show you right now. Okay, let us, let us make it clear. So you are saying if somebody heard, said the earth have pillars, he is a stupid. Do you agree with that? According to the Bible, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, you make right it now. make make it clear before we go there. If the if somebody says the earth have pillars is a stupid, say it. Wait, 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 wait. Just let me let me answer, answer. You know, I'm going to spank you badly before you go to bed today. Say it. Say, I swear by Allah, anyone who say the earth is in is ha has in pillars is a stupid, and not only that, say he's a donkey. I want you to say the word donkey. Say it. Wait, wait, just let me find well, the don't verse. Wait, wait, just why are you don't want to wait? No, don't wait away about verse. You can you give, give it just to me. Just let me find the verse. No problem. You can give me the verse. Say it. As long as you are saying this is an error, are you saying this is an error? Is that an error or it is a, a science? It's an error in the Bible that it's my friend. That so it's an error, right? Anyone, I want, you, I want you to say it. I want you to say anyone who say the earth have pillars is making a okay. scientific stupid error and he is a donkey. Say that. Why should I say what you want to Why say? Why not? Why not? You are, you are calling me to show me something stupid in the Bible, aren't you? Yeah, there is. There so is say, say, so Bible. say, whoever believe in this is a donkey. Whoever said that is a donkey. Say it. Why should I say? Why, why not? Say why not? Why not? You will not say it. I mean, what's wrong with you? You call me to show me that this Am is I? wrong. Aren't you calling me to show me that this is a stupid or not? Why you don't want to say this is stupid? Get your Bible. Is it that says, stupid or not? Say it. I want you to say it. You coward. Say this is stupid. Say it. <laughs> why are you crying? You are. You are. You are a puppy. You are a puppy. You don't. Do you? Don't call me again. Because this is what your Quran said, you stupid idiot. This is why you are scared to say it. This is what your Quran said, you donkey. Not my Bible. Let me find you the verse, reverend. <laughs> this is what your Quran said, stupid idiot. I hope I'm not insulting the stupid ones when I say that to you. If you go to the book of Job, chapter 26, verse number 7, it says, He stretches out north over the empty space and he hangs the earth on nothing. If we go in the Quran, let us see what the Quran is. Guys, he said this is an error. You see, he refused to say this is stupid because he's afraid. Muslim, they learn their lesson. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. And you refused to say this is stupid because you felt there is something fishy. All right? Huh? In the Quran, we have many verses speaking about this. As an example, if we go to chapter, you mentioned to me uh, Man Khan, right? I will go to Luqman. Chapter 31, verse number 10. Hmm. 
and Tamida become. Let us see how is that happen. Let us see the the, the, the interpretation of the Quran. Chapter 31, verse number 10. Let us laugh together. This is an error, right? Mm. You are right. It's an error. It's a stupid error. I will show you how the Muslims are so confused about what the Quran says. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is a new scholar, and he is a scholar for sure. We can't say he's not, but he is a new generation scholar after they discovered that there is no such a thing. Now, if we go to the older scholars, look what they say. He has created the heavens. This is the cousin of Muhammad ibn Abbas. Without support that you can see and also say this is means he created the heavens with support that you cannot see and has cast into earth and he created the earth from hills, firm mountain as support for it. Now to understand if the earth have uh, pillars according to Quran or not, there's a chapter is called the chapter of Qaf. Chapter of Qaf. If we go to Chapter Qaf, you will find the following. And I will show you an amazing story right now. Chapter 50, verse number 1, Chapter Qaf. Let us go there. You will die laughing about the pillars of the, of the earth and the Quran. As you see, we don't give interpretation for verses as the Muslims they do from our own. We use only their scars, real scars. Read with me. What is the pillars that we can see, we cannot see in the Quran? Read, read carefully. And from his narration, in the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking this world, and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swore by it, or swear by it, by the glorious Quran. He swore by the glorious noble Quran. So why we cannot see the pillars which is carrying the sky? Because it is an azure mountain which is blue, obviously, and it is overlooking the world. This is why the Quran says, without pillar that you can see, which means there is pillars, but you cannot see. And this is what Muslims believe in for centuries and centuries. Do you see it? We don't make things up. This is what you Muslims believe. This is not my interpretation. A new generation of scholars like Ajala Lane, they notice that this is very stupid and science discovered that this is false. So they try now to match the Quran with science, but it doesn't work. Because if you Muslims believe that the earth is separated from the heaven because the muslim by the way i don't know if you saw the muslims video they say to you that do you know the quran speak about the big bang and they will say to you the following verse read carefully with me Chapter 21, verse number 30. And they use this one to, to make you say, oh, you know what? The God of Islam, he speak about the Big Bang. Read carefully. 
Don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together as one unit of a creation before we clothed them asunder? We made from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? The fact here, the Arabic says, don't you see, don't the unbelievers see that the earth and the heaven, they used to be joined together and we split them. But that means there was an earth and there was heaven. This is what the Quran is speaking about, not a big bang. Earth and heaven, they used to be together and we split them. To understand this very well, let us see how it works. If we go to different verse in the Quran, which is a book of comedy, we read this. Allah created first the earth and then he created the heaven and the heaven was a, a, a smoke chapter 41 verse number 11 you can read for for sure from verse number 9 starting where he speak about the creation say is it the deny him who created the earth in two days and do join equal with him uh, 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 he is the Lord of all the world. He said on earth, mountains standing firm. According to Quran, Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. This is how stupid this book is. He placed, you see it? He set on the earth, mountains. So, and why he set it there? Because the earth, it might be not stable, it's going to fly. Because the earth is the same as a carpet. And all of us, we knew that mountains are not something placed on the top of the crust of the earth they are coming from the bottom of the uh, most actually of the the, the the mountains we have is a volcano mountains so how you say such a stupid thing that we place it in the top of it and then he continue high above it and be straight blessing on earth and measure of their end all things so allah here he created everything in four days so the total now is six days and then he continue and then after that not more over in arabic it says and then after that, he comprehend his sky, and it was a smoke. So earth was finished first, then the sky was comprehended. Hmm? Now, how he comprehend the sky? Let us go to the different verse. You see, you always have to connect because the Quran is a scattered book. In chapter 79, verse number 28, it says, read, read with me carefully. And on high has he raised it as a conobi. So the stupid God of Islam believe that the sky was down in earth and then he lifted up and then he put the Qaf, which is the Azur mountain. Are you getting the point? But if you look carefully with those two verses, chapter 41 and chapter number 79, you will see a very clear contradiction. Anyone knows what the contradiction is? Read carefully with me. If you go here, you will see the God of Islam speaking as the following. What is the first thing Allah he created? The sky. Do you see it? This is a chapter 79 verse number actually you know what let me see if i can put the two uh, uh, i will open it in different browser okay hold on uh, i don't want that i want to open a new uh new window hold on all right we will take this i will put them next to each other so you can see the clear stupid contradiction muhammad he made in this verse Muhammad, as usual, he do a lot of poo, poo and he will never change. He's a poo, poo guy. Let us zoom in. All what I will do now, I'm going just to place the two verses next to each other so we can read them in the same time. As simple as that. Okay. Remember, we are reading here from chapter number 41. And this is Yusuf Ali translation. In the other book, we are using Yusuf Ali translation too. 
let us read together and laugh at the stupidity of the Quran author I wish I can take off this black thing here from the edge okay let us see All right, uh, we need to do, okay, maybe we can do this way. Okay. Guys, read carefully with me. In this chapter here, let me use the, the mark. In this chapter, in the front of us, what is the first thing Allah He created? It is the earth. Verse number 10. He sat on earth, mountain standing firm. But before we go that, let us go to verse number 9. You can read from the beginning if you want, so nobody will say we are making things up or we are misquoting or etc. Because the beginning there's nothing, you know, about the creation. So now he says, he is the one who created the earth in two days. Okay. And what after that he did? Then he placed the mountains standing firm in the top of it. Okay. So take a note, please. In this chapter, Allah created the earth first, and then he created the mountains. Okay. And what after that? And then he went to the sky, and the sky was, at that point, a smoke. So take a note, please. Take a note. Chapter 41, verse number 9 and 10 and 11 and 12. Confirm that Allah created first the earth, and he finished the whole earth. And then he went to the sky, and the sky was still a smoke. If we go to the verse the chapter 79 we will see the opposite the stupid muhammad he forgot what he just said <laughs> read carefully with me what are you more difficult to create or the heaven above which allah has constru constructed on high he raised it as a konobi and he gave it its order in perfection it's high doth he endue and with darkness and splendor doth he bring it out and then after that and the earth after that he extended it and after that he put the moisture and the vegeta vegetation and after that he put the mountain standing firm this is totally the opposite of the one in the left do you see it guys in the one in the left it was the sky at the end Mountains was standing firm already. Allah, he made the earth in two days. Then he created everything, the substance in four days. He created everything in the earth, trees, grass, animals, mountains. And then he went to the sky and the sky was still in the stage of what? Smoke. If you don't like the translation, we can change it. Let us go. No problem. We go to Shakir. And I will change the translation here to Shakir too. Oh, hold on. Uh, we have to go. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> what a stupid God. He can't remember even which one he, he, he created first. All right. Where is the translator? Let's see. I'm trying to find where the translator we change it. Okay, here, Yusuf Ali. Uh, here we go, Shakir. All right. This is Shakir. Or Biktal. Yeah, Shakir. This is Shakir. All right. Read with me carefully, guys. The funny God of Islam is talking. Hmm. Are you harder to create 
or the heaven he made it he raised it high its height then he put it into right good state and then he made the dark and it is night and he brought out the light which means the sun is created already the stars are created but because we have dark and night everything dark and night and the earth he expanded after that you see it guys I mean how is stupid such a mistake is let us go to the, the other side chapter 41 read and laugh which one Allah he finished first read carefully what do you indeed disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days here's this guy he says period we we'll let it go and do set equal with him that is the Lord of the world and he made it mountain above it surface and he blessed therein and he made the food and the period alike of etc and then then guys do you see the word then people do you see the word then then which means after he created after all of those the earth is created the earth the substance the grass the trees then he directed himself to the heaven and it's vapor and he said to it and to the earth come both willingly or unwillingly and both they came to him and so he ordained them seven heaven by the way by the way the translation is not accurate but still is enough to prove how stupid the Quran is and he made it the seven heaven all right where is where is the smoke then he made a seven heaven in two period and revealed in every heaven its affair and we adorned in the lower heaven with the brilliant stars so all of this was there was no stars so the last thing Allah created according to this it was the stars but this is the opposite from chapter number 79 the first thing Allah he created it was the sky and then he made all the night and the day which means the stars already created and then after that he made the earth and he made the mountains and he made the substance and you are telling me this is the book of science how stupid this god is he missed the order if we ask any muslim right now which one allah created first the trees and the mountains or the stars one verse says the trees and the mountains and this is a chapter number 41 do you see it say what do you indeed disbelieve in him who created the earth in two period by, by the way it doesn't say two period it says two days liars they are trying to match it with science today because no, nobody will believe in period anymore they will say to you it's wrong to have a days they say the bible is funny because the bible says six days let us change the translation maybe a different translator will help the abdul you see we try to all the options we go to big tal let us see this edit big tal okay and we go here to big tal just to make them match the same translator big tal all is muslim translators all right here we will we will find the following look what the quran is saying he raised it high are you harder to create or the heaven that he built okay how he built and he raised it high so that the, the the heaven was down he raised it high take a note and he ordered it and he made dark and night therefore and brought forth the morn therefore so now we have the and night take a note this is verse number 29 and after that after what after that he start walking in the earth do you see it after that he make the earth flat actually in arabic it says flat and then he produced therefore water therefore and pastor imposters and therefore and he made fast and hills so until now there was no mountains now he put the hills and the mountains and now he created the cattle do you see it but this is the opposite of this verse it is totally the opposite here he created the earth first in two days 
then he created the mountains and the substance of the top of the earth and all the measurement of the earth in four days this is six and then then read carefully then he turned to the heaven and the heaven was a sky do i need to explain more <laughs> Do I need to explain more at the stupidity of Muhammad? Which one is first? The heaven, the sky, the star first, or the earth, the mountain, the substance? Is It is 180 degree the opposite. And you are telling me your book is a book of science? Guys, if there is anyone who did not get it, I mean, I don't know if uh, how how smart we are, but you can print. Go if you are a Muslim, please. And by the way, you can go and read the interpretation too, because that will not save you. The Muslim they try to save the ass of Muhammad by saying to you, "Oh no, no, Allah created the earth first, yeah, but the earth, the heaven was created already. That will not make any difference anyway, because here is not about who created first, as heaven and earth. It is about the order." Is the mountains first and the star next? You can play with the interpretation with any you want, but you cannot play with the mountains and the earth and the substance because here one verse saying that Allah created the mountains first and the, the sky was still a smoke. Everything in the earth was created. I don't care about who created first, the earth or the sky. This is not my question. The question is, Allah created the substance and the mountains and the trees and the grass first or the stars based on the verse in the front of us here chapter 41 starting from verse number 9 all the way you can read 10 11 it says it clearly that there was nothing in the sky the sky was a smoke As simple as that then he ordained them seven heavens in two days and inspire each heaven to many day to mandate its mandate and we uh, uh, deck the neither heaven with lamps so the lamps is, uh, then then the lamps is created then do you see the word then then after what after he finished the earth after he finished the mountains after he finished the trees but if you go here is different it is totally the opposite here Allah he created the day and the heaven and the, and, and the night Allah he raised him okay hold on let's start from here sorry are you harder to create or is it a heaven that he built he raised it high therefore and he ordered it and he made the dark and the night and then he made the earth after that he made the earth flat so Allah start working in the earth after what after he finished the sky the stars are created the day and the night we have day and night what day and night mean everything in the sky is finished this is the order of the Quran and after that he start working in the earth he made the earth flat and he produced the substance of the earth and he made then he placed the mountains in the other one, it is the opposite. As simple as that. How this can be from God? If there is any Muslim here, he don't agree that this is clear evident that this is stupid. Any Muslim? This is God. He cannot even get the order of creation correctly. To make it more clear, because a Muslim he might say to me, Oh, you get it wrong. Let us go and see what Muhammad he said. <clears throat> because Muhammad for sure he knows better. Remember, the prophet he knows best. Read carefully with me. Allah messenger said let us read the hadith from the or uh, the origin okay Allah created the clay on Saturday he created the mountains on Sunday 
Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? And don't tell me now, Muhammad, let us go to Nu'man Khan. Let us go to Nu'man Khan, brother. Suddenly, Nu'man Khan became a scholar. The guy who is texting his pictures to girls naked. This is the scholar. And Zakir Naik, the one who said that the mother of the believer, she will get every one of them, every one of those Muslim women, she will get 70 huri, and they will, do, they will be doing her. <laughs> Look, so Allah created the mountains in Sunday. But he created the clay on Saturday. I like that. And then he created the trees on Monday. And he created things in Thailand labor on Tuesday. And Ahmad Didat was making fun of the Bible saying that God created the sun in Wednesday. Do you remember? Look what Muhammad, this is why if Didat is in front of me, I will make him shish kebab in two seconds. And he created the light in Wednesday. Which day? You see, in the Bible, it doesn't say that. In the Bible, it says, God, he said, let be light, and it was light. This is the first thing. The Bible speak about light created right away, not enter Wednesday. Creating the sun is not creating the light. The light is already exist, because how you can say darkness without light? You see, that the stupid Quran said that Allah created the darkness. You cannot create darkness because darkness is simply the absence of light. You do not need to create it. Just take, take, turn your light off. You have darkness. Take the sun away. We have darkness. You do not need to create it. It is the default. <laughs> so he created the light in Wednesday. If we go and read the Quran, we will find the opposite in two chapters. They contradict each other. So how this one can be a prophet of God? You see, we showed you a verse in the, in the beginning saying that if this book is not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is the book of contradiction. Everything in this book is nothing but a contradiction. The Quran says that. If this book is not from God, in this case, they call him Allah. You will find in it a lot of contradiction. And how clear the contradiction could be more than God himself did not remember which one he created first. Which one he finished or fashioned first. And how clear, I mean, why, why a human being want to be stupid? Print the two pages, put them next to each other. This guy, he said to us, read the translation. He didn't want to read the interpretation, correct? He refused to read the interpretation of the scars. Why? Because the scars, they will get him busted. Okay, do, do you want me to show you Sahih, Sahih Muslim? International? <laughs> do we have any Abdul? Look what the Quran says. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِي غَيْرَ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُ فِيهِ اِخْتِدَافًا كَثِيرًا Why they cannot consider the Quran? If this book is not from God, they will find a lot of contradiction in it. As simple as that. Who is the one saying that? Supposedly Allah. Well, the contradiction is all over. A prophet who cannot maintain his statement, obviously he is a liar. What do you mean Allah created the clay in Saturday? Was Muhammad telling a lie? Muslims? Are you going to say to me this is a weak hadith? The game of weak and strong? Well, this is a strong hadith. Do you see it? What do you mean Allah created the clay? on Saturday and then he created the mountains on Sunday and then he created trees in Monday and then in one day he made the light which means he finished everything in earth before he went to the sky what is more proof you want to believe that Muhammad is nothing but a scam.
a prophet of God you do not know which one his God he created first Which one Allah he created first? The day and the night or the mountains? And I like it when the translator get the Muslim get Muhammad busted by saying, and after that. Do you see guys? You see the word after that? Do you see the word after that? After that, Allah spread the earth. The Muslim he will say to you, Oh, the earth was exist already. No problem. But that won't change anything because now in here it says that Allah he finished the earth after he finished the sky just to make it simple for you in this chapter here Allah is saying the opposite Allah he finished the earth first and then he finished the sky as simple as that are we clear guys are we clear how we clear we can make it more than this the verse in the right making it clear that Allah he finished the earth after he finished the sky without reading the details I mean who care finish zucchini cucumber no problem the verses in the left saying the opposite Allah finished the whole earth and after that then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies and the sky was a smoke If you don't like it, we can change the translator. We can keep changing the translations as you wish from now until next year. And we can change the interpretation from now until next year. And you will see how stupid this book is. How in the world you Muslims believe in this madness? This is God talking? Are you more difficult to create or the heaven that he constructed? He raised it high. What high? The heaven is raised high? My friend, we are inside the heaven. The earth is not even a dust inside the heaven. We are in the sky. Aren't we? When we ask this idiot, Saud, I want you to say whoever believe that the earth is carried by columns. He refused to accept to say that. Why? Because that's what his book says. The earth is carried by mountains, columns. It's called Qaf. I mean, if you are calling me, if you are trying to show me an error in the Bible, why you don't say the one who believe in this is stupid? Say it. He refused to say that. Because the Muslim, they learn their lesson. It means there is something to come. I said to him, what about we go and see what your prophet said? He don't want to see what his prophet said. He said, I go by Nu'man Khan. Okay, why you don't show me what Nu'man Khan said? He's a, he have a book? He's a scholar, he don't have a book? Guys, have you ever heard of a scholar? He have video on YouTube, but not a book. It's called the book of Tafsir. Why he don't have a book? It's called Tafsir. How you can take him for granted from a video? Where is the book of Tafsir for, for Zakir Naik? I want to see the Muslims teaching the book of Nu'man Khan, which he did not write yet, and the book of Zakir Naik about Tafsir, which he did not write yet in their schools. Nobody will accept. He will be fired from the first day. Who is a Muslim here? He did not get what we showed you in the screen. How this is can be God and he contradict himself that much Hi CP and everyone from Texas Christine she say hi only for people from Texas <clears throat> She's a cowboy. I mean cowgirl. Sorry. Why why everybody from Texas? What about the rest? <laughs> What I will do about myself now, right now, I'm from Bangladesh. Anyway, 
Do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? <laughs> the Bible says, the Bible says that the sky have uh, perils. Let me show you the verse. <laughs> Oh, she's saying hello from Texas. Sorry, I'm an Arab. We read, we read from right to left. Sorry. Yeah, I think twice. You can call me, no problem. Any Abdul? How do you believe in this garbage? This is God talking. And obviously, this God was taking hashish when he made those verses. The same one, this God who was saying that Mary is the sister of Aaron. And the Muslim, they say to us, huh, in the old days, they used to say the sister of etc., like uh, someone who is the good from the family. But Mary is not from the family of Aaron anyway. What Mary? What make Mary from the family of this guy? Even the Quran confirmed that Mary is a daughter of a guy, his name is Umran. And this is the same name of the father of Moses and Miriam, the sister of Aaron, according to Islam. It's not about sister by metaphorical. This stupid Muhammad, he thought that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And Kabul Ahbar, he went to the house of Muhammad and he told Aisha. Aisha, she said to him, you are a liar. Muhammad, then he heard the news. So Muhammad, he tried to find an excuse. He said, ah, in the old days, they used to call them by their ancestor. Yeah, Muhammad, he gave that explanation. After after Kabul Ahbar, he came to the house of Aisha and he told her, as I know, there's hundreds of years before be, between Mary, the mother of Isa, and Aaron. And this is Kabul Ahbar. Kabul Ahbar is a rabbi. He's, this guy is not a joke. When Muhammad, he knew if this guy, he said this is wrong, it's me, it's wrong. So Muhammad, right away, he, after he found that he got busted, he said, oh, they used to call them by their ancestor. But the Quran confirmed that not to call anyone except by their father, not ancestor. Who is in the Quran was called by the ancestor like this? Like who? Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone have a question? Uh, uh, nobody use a bad language. Otherwise, we will put you in a mute for some time as a penalty, please. The F word is not allowed in our text. You are welcome to speak, to argue, even to call me names don't use a bad language we have ladies we have young ones sitting with us if this is your language don't use it please do we have any muslim would like to call us anyone Okay, this is my change to the Muslims. Who is going to show me something real, scientifically real in the Quran? A challenge. You name the miracle, we will go for it. Who want to do that? From the videos, from the videos of Nu'man Khan, from the video of Zakir Naik, I don't care. Hello? Hello, hi. Hey, my friend, me? how are you? I'm fine. Are you all right? Thank you. I'm good, thank you. You know, when you... When you go to the heaven of Allah, uh, Prophet David will come and sing from Zabur. Mm. And when he sing every Friday, Allah mm. will ask you, mm. have you heard any anything better than this? No, and I will say, will no. say no. No, Allah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I showed it to a friend of mine who is an um, atheist. Mm. I showed the video. And he keeps texting me all these jokes about this. He just, he was like, man, this video should have about 10 million views at least. <laughs> I know. It's pure comedy. <laughs> it's a pure comedy. I mean, and, and imagine, 
I wish I can play the video here. If I can play it here right now in live broadcasting, but YouTube, they will take it down. The most time they will flag it for copyright, but otherwise, it's the best comedy. Honest to God, I played this video in a church. People, they fell down from their chairs, literally. I'm not exaggerating. The whole row, you know, one of them, he, he started <laughs> laughing, laughing, so he could not control himself. And then his the chairs are plastic. You know, this was in the Philippines. They are cheap. Have kind. you seen the? Have you seen the one that I done? Because I did a little bit editing on it. I don't know if you've seen it mm, on post, my channel. Post it. Post it. Let the, the people watch it too. Post um, it. Well, I um, I did a, <laughs> I did a video of the one you did, mm. but I added some editing. Yeah, uh, your funny stuff. I know what you do. And um, <laughs> I, uh, you know. Uh, basically, there will be an angel coming to you every Friday. Every Friday. Yeah, every and, he, Friday. and he will give and you the, the card. He will give you a card. He, he will bring you a card. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, every Friday, an angel will come to your door. Your house has four doors. Huh? And 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 the, and the, and the guy in the Dean show is like, wow, man. But if if you go if you go from the beginning, it's the most hilarious. imagine imagine this. You know, this is this is Allah. When we speaking to to the president, and we think, wow, but this is Allah. You know, this imagine, is amazing. Yeah, imagine Allah. Allah Himself. He sends you a card every Friday, saying to you, "I miss you. Come visit me." <laughs> <laughs> and then you go when you enter the door, which you will go to see Allah. The the shower of musk will shower you. Why he stink? I mean, <laughs> then you have, and then you have an angel waiting at the door. Yeah, uh, the angel will say to you, "Hey, salam alaikum." You know, the angel basically saying, "Well done, well done, you well made done. it." Yeah, yeah, you made it. Now this is the door when they enter the heaven. <laughs> the 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 most funny, the most funny uh, when he's saying, uh, "When you enter the heaven, there is you do not need a GPS." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you don't need GPS, yes, you brother. Don't need to brother, worry, you, you do not need a map. You do not need GPS, brother. Imagine, imagine. Imagine this. Imagine this. He keeps you, saying, imagine yeah, this. Yeah, imagine uh, this. When you when you hear this, you will think like there's like what will happen. This guy now he will find his house by himself. You know how this will happen. And then he says, that an angel will take you. Uh, I have a wrong visitors. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I have delivery. Hold on. Oh. You can guys. You should watch. You should watch the video. Uh, go to Unmask and Fools and type uh, is Paradise of Description part, um, Paradise of Allah, the description of Paradise of Jenna or something. Um, you will laugh if you haven't watched this video. I can guarantee you, you will laugh yourself to death. <laughs> it, it's just pure, pure comedy. Um, it's one of those videos that is, is absolutely funny. Um, Yeah, Phil. Um, CP's getting his delivery. I actually have. Uh, I'm waiting for two of the CP's book, the volume one and volume two, Sex and Allah. I'm waiting for them. But the funny thing is, uh, I'm not in tomorrow. So the delivery is supposed to be tomorrow. And sometimes the delivery people, when they come, they do uh, ring the neighbors and they give it to neighbors. So. I got a feeling that uh, they will give it to some Muslim neighbors and they will never give me the books back. <laughs> and then CP will have to <laughs> see if CP will have to send another one. <laughs> They're never going to give the books back. All right. You're getting delivery, yeah? Sorry is, it for card this. From, is it the card from Allah? Yeah, it's, a, saying, it's a, the angel. He brought me the, the GVS. <laughs> and when you enter from one door, one mm. door, and you enter with your right foot. <laughs> That's very important. And, uh, but the, 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 uh, when he said that, imagine, brother, you have four doors. Your four house doors, yeah, four, four doors. doors. <laughs> and that makes me so depressed because my house have two doors only. <laughs> I mean, what a big deal! And then you go inside the, and before you enter heaven, there is two angels. They will welcome you and they will greet you and they will sing for you. But then, they will give you a drink. And that drink, when you drink, my brother, all the guilt and the hate will go out. Like you will have a diarrhea in the front of the heaven. <laughs> yeah, but brother, when when then when Prophet Dawood alayhi salam sings. 
river will stop yeah no? the, 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 bird, river will the stop. birds the, the birds will stop too <laughs> the, birds. <laughs> the birds will stop because they are singing to Dawood guys every Friday there's a three singers they will sing <laughs> David first and Allah will say to them have you ever heard better than this the Muslim all of them they will say absolutely not Allah but you idiot didn't you just the last week last Friday you heard the same guy <laughs> what's wrong with you the same chapter the same verse and then Muhammad yes. and then next Muhammad, Muhammad. And, then, and then Allah he will say have you ever heard better than this he will say no we swear by Allah no we never heard like this and then the third is Allah and Allah he says have you ever heard better than this he will say no and this is every Friday <laughs> But didn't you hear it last Friday? What do you mean you never heard this like this before? <laughs> every Friday. And you know, imagine how boring it is that every Friday you have in the stage three guys. One, his name is David. And the other guy, his name is Muhammad. And the third is Allah. And they are singing the same chapter from the Quran. <laughs> what a movie. <laughs> imagine. You, you go to heaven and you X have factor, X factor. Let, let us say something more interesting than than the songs they are singing let us say you have for eternity every Friday to watch mission impossible for Santa Cruz so what is name? so what uh, Cruz what what is name <laughs> no 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 let me make it more simple every Friday guys you're gonna be listening to Christian Prince that is not a bad thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna like it. <laughs> At least they will hear something different and they will laugh. But for eternity, three singers and they will sing the same thing every Friday, and he will ask them the same questions. Have you ever heard better than this? And then the winner, the winner of the artist, you know, this is like what it's called uh, uh, American Idols. Every week, Allah he won. The second is Muhammad. The third is David. <laughs> like, can't you get us something better like next week? I mean, what about the uh, change? I mean, bring Isa. Like one Friday, Muhammad. One Friday, Isa. One Friday, uh, one Friday, David. If, if somebody, somebody's asking for the video, guys. If you want to see the video, uh, there's an old video that CP did. But what I've done is I've added some editing to it. Uh, so it is unmasking fools. Go to the channel there. And it will be one of the few last videos. It's called Paradise of uh, Paradise of Islam or something like that. Maybe you can Desc post sorry, a link. De description description of, it, of 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 Islam. Maybe you can post a link in the text. You know. Okay. So uh, can I see. can't post uh, on the thingy really. Uh, give it to me. I will post it. Give it to me okay. in Skype. I will post yeah, it. Is it's called Amazing Description of Jannah Paradise. Hmm. And. Uh, um, the the best bit about it is is the guy's face CP. Uh, I don't want to use this word, yeah. but it he feels if it feels the way he's talking, it feels as if he is. Uh, um, I don't know. He's having a sorry for the using the word. Yeah, he's, he's like he's having a an air, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> just look at his face. Only his face. You don't have to watch the video. Just looking at his face. Uh, the way he's like really excited about this crazy stuff. I'm telling you, in the church, they fell down literally in the floor. People, they cannot take it. They, one of the guys, he said to me, uh, 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 "You know, almost I have a heart attack." You know, and, and if you have, and if you have, um, if you have um, time, try and watch uh, the editing that I done on it. Uh, you'll find it probably quite interesting. Watch what? Uh, if you have time, yeah. You know, if you ever have time, try and see editing bit of it because it okay. kind of yeah. fits fits with some some stuff i'm not gonna ruin it for you i'm not gonna tell you every minute <laughs> you're gonna see this or yeah that. yeah guys watch it I will post the link for me and i will post it for them so they can watch it yeah and uh you know you see the purpose here is not we are we're not making fun of anyone but how in the world a human being can believe in such a madness and then when he say and the brother when you go into heaven you are angry you want to eat you do not need to go and uh, cook no you see as an example you see a bird in the sky you see the password there's a password you see oh uh, yeah I forgot the password oh yeah yeah what's the password let us the guys let the guys uh, guess uh, <laughs> al alhamdulillah alhamdulillah <laughs> <laughs> no, subhanallah 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 you say subhanallah, yeah, subhanallah. <laughs> subhanallah you say subhanallah the bird in the sky will be cooked and served in front of you <laughs> And he will put his hand like as a dish, you know. So yeah, but you, why, why does he need eighty thousand slaves if the bird is all you have to do is say the password, you know? 
uh, those are for different story. <laughs> for different story, yeah. <laughs> You just look at the bird and you see it and you see the password there's a password you know imagine guys if you believe it or not I can show you a reference that in the heaven of Allah everybody will have a passport and his passport have a picture in it and not only that in the picture in the in the passport there is a visa and the visa telling telling the angels what is his provision would mean not everybody will get the same entry or same level it's like there is Schengen visa there is you know what I mean so when you go to the heaven of Allah the angels will provide you with a passport and the passport will say what are you allowed to have in this heaven so in your let's say you are in level number four which is a good level not like level number one level number four you will have more fruits from level number three level number three will have more list in the passport of a fruit and food and women better than level two so everybody will have a passport and the passport will say exactly what you will eat what you will do in the heaven you know i mean how crazy why why, why would why would allah need to send you a, a card to say i miss you you know well Just you know <laughs> let us you see allah is very gentleman <laughs> you know a card yeah right yeah <laughs> and and, the, and the, you know like that one of the most funny part of the video where he said and everybody have his chair and his chair name his chair his, his name is written in it and then you ask yourself if now we have 1.4 billion muslims and there is maybe 2 billion or 3 billion die already of, of mankind mm -hmm. and now how you can find your chair <laughs> <clears throat> never mind the chair but if their name is written in it they're gonna be millions and millions of muhammad's written in the chair so they're going to be fighting with each other i am muhammad 1350 because you, you might find muhammad the first the first one million and fifty five yeah the, the, no your name the whole name let us say the whole name but even if you write the whole name you might find the same person you know yeah. have the same as an example once this is a, this is a story happened you know to, to 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 me in the middle east i was just coming from england and then a car stopped in the front of my parent house and uh, the guy it's uh, you know those trucks who have a uh, flowers for funeral you know and the guy he knock at the door and my mom she opened and he said this is for your son and he named me as a person by name you know he gave her the name and i just arrived from london so my mom she said are you there I said yeah study all the life and she said yeah obviously <laughs> she said well this guy is saying that you died <laughs> so we went downstairs i spoke to him there's a guy he have exactly the same exact name so you can imagine through generations how many people have the same name and let us say everybody have only one single name there's nobody is the same as the rest and you have billions of a human being why would you need the name how you can find and why I don't cannot just sit in any chair I mean why but Allah is so organized you know your name will be in the chair I mean everything is reserved because there's ranks as we said there's the, the there's the high ranks the sahaba they will sit in the first <laughs> the, yeah like like uh, osama bin laden yeah no like uh, Omar al khattab uh, abu Bakr, they will be the first the first row then shabir ali yeah shabir ali will be at the end this guy <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think even he will have a chair <laughs> he's paying he's paying uh, uh, paying tax to the canadians he's he's, he's yeah, not to uh, the kufar he's paying taxes to yeah the he's one of them yeah so he's not he's not true muslim no rather. no yeah according to islam actually they are not true muslims they are false exactly this is this is, this is the whole point really uh you just you know you're not really you're supposed to follow the the sharia of allah and no muslim that lives in the west actually follows it because it is impossible to yeah. do to follow that so technically you are uh, a kufar disbeliever that's how i see it yeah but yeah i just wanted to ask actually um so this is just too funny sorry it's just um what age would you say volume one and two are what age yeah Who, would what? you recommend what do you mean i'm i'm waiting for the books to be delivered tomorrow actually yeah um so i was thinking what age is appropriate do you think what? if i was to give show it to somebody or give somebody the book. oh ah, okay well 13, I, I, you know I, okay i get you i uh, uh you see may, depending on your in the culture of the country i don't know but uh, 
it's, it's not there's no bad language as a bad language oh. Uh, but uh, there's uh, some places the F word coming as F, but not the F word as it is. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah, translating. To be honest, to... be honest, and yeah, F, yeah. F so I say now, I don't say the F. Really... I don't say the F word written exactly. I say F and the stars. You know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no. I, I don't use really, but uh, well, actually, but the, the F word is is nothing nowadays. I, mean, I know, I know, but still, five years old. I, I, leave, I leave that uh, the main to the person. You know, but uh, there's no bad language there. But uh, the book, generally speaking, it can be read in anyone he have uh, is able to comprehend. Let us say maybe 13, 14, maybe. Yeah. Oh, 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 I thought it was. Yeah. Um, th there is uh, apparently, um, there's a hadith that I wanted to ask, actually. I mm -hmm. was reading somewhere. Uh, I may give you the website, which is extremely funny. I think if you read it, you will laugh. Um, some, like, it's a Muslim website, but the way they... Basically, um, they've got a section, for example, calling, you know, hashtag me too, you know, that how they protect the woman and against sexual assault. You know. One, a hadith, I tried searching it, CP. It says, I was reminded of the words of Prophet Muhammad, S-A-W, hmm. in which it's, he said, by Allah, I warn you against violating the rights of two vulnerable ones in any way. The orphan and the woman, Ibn Manjar, the Hadith. I, I warn you. Sorry. I warn you. What? Say again. I warn you. I warn you against violating the rights of two vulnerable ones in mm. any way. The mm. orphan and the woman. Mm. I, I, I tried googling it. Uh, I, I can post in in uh, Skype. Uh, yeah, but you know the, the the thing is when Muslim they they read it in English. They, they they change everything if it is exist this is, yeah this is what i'm saying because what i think they do is they they do it in a way which fits the narrative you know yeah, yeah. Uh, because but, literally I've, 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 i'm not bad at searching when it comes to searching i searched in uh, suna.org i searched google everywhere you know by far the same as the hadith about uh, you know if uh, like uh, the prophet says uh, seek knowledge even in china this is not uh, this hadith does not exist you know, this is exist in a book. That book saying that this is not true and false. This is not exist at all. Only there. But this is hadith. It's not exist. They fabricate. But because they like the idea, Muhammad saying seek knowledge. So you see it in every school in the Middle East. You see it in in top of even official government uh, offices. Seek knowledge in China. The Prophet says so. But nobody can find the story. The same as the story about the Jewish guy, the Jewish guy who used to piss on the Prophet door. I want to see it. I want to read it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I just, I, I mean, I, like I said, I, I tried searching it. There's it's nowhere to be seen. I couldn't find it. I couldn't see it anywhere. It just was not coming up. So, um, yeah. but even if this hadith was true, it would actually contradict Quran. It would contradict loads of other hadiths. You see, if you go to chapter, let us see how Muhammad is nice to the, to the orphan. In chapter 4, verse number 3, it says, if you fear not to be uh, able to deal justly with the orphans, and here is talking about marrying them, which is supposedly nukah as marriage, but it is a sex contract. How in the world Muhammad is encouraging people to marry orphans? You know, orphan is not someone in your age who have no parents, correct? Mm. When we say orphan, what 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 we mean? It means uh, a child, a little a child. Yeah, which a child. Is, so is far, is how in the world? Yeah, how in the world the Quran? This is Quran now. They cannot say this is weak. How in the world the Quran says if you cannot be justly with the orphan which is you will sleep with? Now, what kind of religion is encouraging me to be nice to the orphan by sleeping with them? Which means I will not feed you unless you take off your panty if you are a female orphan. But the orphan is a child. A person, uh, a person who is uh, a woman, uh, she is like 18, she is not orphan. This is for children. The word orphan is for, for somebody is a child, is not for somebody is an exactly. adult. Exactly. But even, even, uh, even the age, forget the age for a bit. Let's put the age aside. How can, why is Allah? 
making, how can I say, uh, an exception here. He's saying, if you fear, you shall not be able to deal justly. You know, God should not, how can I say, he should not sugarcoat it just to make you happy. God should say, you should not, you shall not. You know, when you read the Bible, it says, you shall not do this, you shall not do that. You know, here he's saying, look, try, but if you can't, do it. You know, what sort of God is that? You know? Well, God the, should have the same Quran you know, says you cannot be just anyway with them, but the, the, the oh, 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 like the sometimes the, the Muslim they try to find you a verse that the appearance look like look good, speak about orphan. But imagine if we in Christianity believe that I should be nice to the orphan by sleeping with her. You know, you say this is marriage or not, this is not, this is this is a this is rape, this is a child, you know, so. Why I need, I mean, what about being good to the orphan, feeding them without sleeping with them? Why I need to get a return, which is sex, for being good to the orphan? What kind of good that good is that I will feed you if you sleep with me? And they are children. You know? This is religion. We have an orphan. So what we do in order to feed you, you have to sleep with me. So which means we will not give you, uh, uh, we will not give you a sandwich unless you take off your clothes. What kind? What kind of religion this religion is? Everything in this religion is Islam have some appearance verses make you believe that Islam taking care of the orphan. But Muhammad he made a lot of orphans. He is the one making orphan by creating war. Why you kill people when you kill when you kill families when you rape women when you destroy cities? Who is the one who is creating orphans? Those people are not orphans. Even even his men who died in this war, they have a children. Who is the one who made them have orphan? He he encouraged them to go and kill and fight. Probably He's, probably there was so many orphans he didn't know what to do with them, so he had to come with this kind of stuff. He he uh, uh, for sure there's many, you know the the. the uh, the, the 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 Muslims they admit that even they were afraid that the Quran would demolish because there's nobody from those who they remember the Quran is, is still alive they are they are dead you know وقاتلوا 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 the Quran وقاتلوا في سبيل الله you know fight for the sake of Allah قاتلوا is an Arabic word means fight to kill not like fight mm -hmm. by talking so if he is not asking why he didn't say what Jesus said. Where Jesus says, "Go and kill them wherever you find them." And the I mean, I mean, imagine the world where um, people just followed one sentence that Jesus said: "Love your neighbor as yourself." Ima imagine that. Imagine if everybody did that. Mm. What kind of world it would be? Just, just by one, you know, one sentence. Yeah. Even in chapter two, verse number two forty-six, you will see that the Jews. The Quran here is describing the Jews are bad people. Why? They refuse to do jihad. Look here. Hast thou not turned the vision uh, to the chiefs of the children of Israel? After the time of Moses, they said to the prophet that was among them, appoint for us a king that we may, we may fight in the cause of Allah. He said, it is not, isn't it possible? If you com uh, uh, commanded to fight, that you will not fight. They said, how could we refuse to fight in the cause of Allah? Seeing that we, etc. So re read the story. So you will see that the culture of killing and fighting, the Muslim, they accuse that the Old Testament have violence. This is Muhammad speaking about that the Jews, they have a duty. And their duty is to do jihad. And because they did not do jihad, Allah He punished them. And they were commanded to fight. They are commanded to fight and to kill their enemies. But because they are bad Jews, they refuse to kill and to do jihad for the sake of Allah. And He says to them, uh, one, you know, wouldn't you refrain from fighting if fighting were prescribed for you? It's fighting is prescribed for the believers in Islam. It is a it is a must. You can't be a believer and imagine here we are talking about the Jews yet, but the Jews, according to this verse, those are the Muslim Jews, those who follow Musa's. 
but those they were bad they did not obey Allah and they did not want to go and kill the Palestinian if you go to chapter 5 verse 21 it says that Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the Palestinians but the Jews they disobey Allah and they refuse to kill the Palestinians therefore Allah he made them or let us say he forbid them from fighting the Holy Land for more than 20 or 40 years sorry so if you go here you can read any translation you want people you will see here and and and, and, and there is basically called in the, uh, the Jews evil doers yeah and they call them evil yeah you see they are the one like you know people they say the Jews like those who sponsor the the, the Hamas and etc oh the Jews they took the land from the Palestinian first of all those who they are there they are not Palestinians have nothing to there do. is there is a video hmm. of one of the Hamas leaders he is speaking to the Egyptians on TV but it has been translated by memory uh, memory TV school hmm. the channel that translate them mm -hmm. and he's like really shouting he's upset you know he was like we are he actually calls uses the surname basically he says we are Arabs we are Egyptians we have all the people there he's basically saying like we are from your tribes here you know he's actually saying we're not palestinians indirectly he's saying there is no such thing as palestine we are egyptians you know he's, he's using the surname palestinian you know, are like, people who live in that territory ancient days and they aren't exist no more if you read in the bible you will see that those people they used to be giants yes arafat is not even five foot you know uh, uh, the the people who we talk about like you know remember the story of david you know so we are talking about people who they are giant they are big in body those people are first of all they are they, they, their their color like even the other word Arab you know when we say Arab I mean do you say Arafat look like an Arab do uh, Haniya look like an Arab they don't look like anything they are mixed of many because this land here is a land mixed with tons of invaders Romans Aramaic Persian you name it nobody in that land can claim to be an ethnic nobody nobody they all they all been basically travels yeah. for a certain the, time the only one who away. was able to preserve themselves somehow it was those who belong to a religion like the Jews because the Jews didn't accept a stranger to be part of them you can't convert to be a Jew well to be honest the name Jew means man from Judea right and the, yeah, the, but, uh, the name Judea already yeah. exists today yeah we know we know what the name coming from but we know when we say Jews now we are talking about the tribes of Israel so yeah, yeah you yeah. cannot convert you cannot convert to be a Jewish as a religion not a Jewish as an ethnic and, and, and that preserved the, the, the ethnic but does not doesn't mean that the Jews did not mix with other people because you remember they took them as a slaves you can imagine how many women they got raped you know so uh, uh, everybody is mixed there's nobody can claim to be he is uh, from a race because you have invader from everywhere even the uh, even the Egyptian they enslave the children of Israel for hundreds of years so they took them all the nation they took them to Egypt and then that the, and the Persian they took them the same they took them all the way to Iraq so this is a nation which is scattered everywhere and that land who where it was the Palestinian at that time in that land where we can find them what language they were speaking the only language was exist in that place is the Aramaic Arabic never entered that place the first one who changed the language of those territories it was Abdul Malik ibn Marwan the Caliphate the, the Umayyad Caliphate before that all that land they speak Aramaic this is why Jesus himself he spoke Aramaic this is why part of the uh, uh, of the Old Testament written in not only in Hebrew written in Aramaic and even Egyptian because remember that the Jews they've been enslaved by the Egyptians so they have part of their history written in the Egyptian language part of their history written in the Aramaic language and part of their history written in their original language which is the Hebrew so the Quran confirmer for in front of us and this is the most important when I deal with a Muslim that Allah assigned the Holy Land to the Jews so if you wanna if you are a person who wanna speak with honesty who is the one who started the conflict as they call it today conflict between the Jews or the Israeli and the Palestinians as they call them it is Allah 
the verse in front of us Allah is the one who ordered the Jews to go and take the land which he called it holy and he says in the Quran it is assigned to you if we ask the Muslims do Allah or is Allah is all-knowing they will say yes okay Allah the all-knowing why he told them to go and take the land of the Palestinians they say oh at that time the Palestinians they were not Muslims so it's okay to take their land well if Allah is all-knowing don't he knew that later those Jews they will claim that this is their land based on what he told them that this is a land assigned to you go and take it don't he obviously Allah do not know he was not aware Muhammad when he made he, this verse he, 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 he's, he's not the best schemers planners yeah. yeah because if Allah he knew that one day those people they will became Muslims why you are asking the Jews to go and take that land and remember this verse is written in the time of Muhammad and Muhammad obviously he is speaking he's bad mouthing the the Jews for not killing the Palestinians he's reporting the bad Jews now those are the bad if you read here the verses after it says when, when, when he said that to them to go and do attack they said oh Moses in this land there are people exceeding strength never shall we enter it why he is saying exceeding strength because they are speaking about the giant Palestinian and this is this is shown even in Islamic books those people are giants they are big they are huge we can't even fight them and remember the fight is by sword so we cannot find those people they are extreme extend in, in that they have extreme strength we cannot fight them. we are no match and then he said we will not we will not enter it until they leave it then Allah because they are bad people only Allah here is praising only two Jews who say they accept Allah but among there Allah fearing men were two on whom Allah had bestowed his grace they said assault them at the proper gate once you are in victory will be yours so only two Jews agreed with Moses to do jihad from all the nation of, of, of Israel and then because they said they don't want to go they said oh Moses why they remain there never shall we be able to enter to the end of time go do etc and then you will see Allah because of that he forbid them from entering the Holy Land for 40 years as a punishment for not attacking the Palestinians so the Quran is speaking about because they refused to kill the Palestinians Allah he punished them not to enter the land for 40 years what is the justification of Muslims for that is very simple they say at that time it's okay to kill the Palestinians because they are not Muslims. As simple as that. Because Palestinians didn't believe in Allah and Moses did believe in Allah. So so it's okay to kill. You know, it's okay to kill them because they are like animals. You know, you can kill them. This this is the logic of the Quran. You can kill <clears throat> anyone. Is it a well, Muslim? I, I think I think if you ask Shabir Ali, he he will just play around and never answer the question. Oh, Ali, I, don't know, uh, I, don't, sure. I don't know if you watched his um, his page on website where his daughter who's got loads of makeup and asked him questions this is his daughter and or this is uh... yeah, that's his daughter yeah really um, mm. yeah um, as far I, as I know actually I made a video about it but I thought this is not his daughter I thought she says somebody making I think, an interview I think is the daughter actually I think is a daughter yeah but uh, but but it's haram in Islam to have uh, to have this you know since when I know I know and and to be honest I mean um, I see more makeup on the amount of makeup I see on these girls with hijab or whatever you want to call it is ridiculous I mean so much makeup you think what is wrong with you my friend in the yeah. in the Middle East and the Middle East women Muslim women they use something is called bayad well, that bayad is made from zinc it's very okay. harmful very very harmful but it does something amazing it make your skin like a skin of a baby so you will see a woman she is using that uh, cream uh, and her her face will look so white and her face her skin will look like if she is just born yesterday but without the makeup they look so scary and so disgusting because what this this makeup does it destroyed your skin 
over time over time and each time you use it you next time you have to use more because the effect of it that the skin is not responding no more you know so each time you use you have to put more and more and more so after 10 years the girl who is 30 she will look like she is 60. yeah but then after 10 years is no problem because then you can cover fully yeah, where the and, full and, then, and then they cover yes yeah, so when they are young they don't cover you notice that they are before they get married they don't cover because now they, they are trying to get a guy you know like so we put a lot of makeup etc and look perfect and then after they get married this is this is skin which is became horrible they look really scary and then the guy he start looking for a new wife because the old wife is not what he thought she looked like you know because the makeup make, makeup make miracles <laughs> same as Allah <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's, it's a big contradiction because you're supposedly wearing the hijab, so man's the man will not go after you, but then you're put in the makeup to make yourself look more beautiful than you can, yet they actually are. So it's well, a bit well, Muhammad, crazy. Muhammad, he made it clear that the one, the women who, who uh, uh, let us say, who put makeup or put perfume, he, Muhammad, he used the word whore, you know, uh, if a woman she she can do that only uh, if she is doing it to her husband uh, you know if if she, if she is putting perfume in front of strangers etc uh, she is a whore she is a bad woman which is uh, you know i mean the logic of it is very funny because uh, so the women now after she get married she is not allowed to look good to any person except her husband which means you are owned by this man and then when the contract is over with this man she is allowed to be to put makeup to who no one you know i mean you are dead already i mean why why she can't put a makeup what what is the problem with allah you see putting a makeup will not make a woman bad or good it's what she do who care if she put a makeup or not what about because if you if you think about makeup when you comp your hair this is a makeup it is makeup because you're trying to look to look good yeah you are just making making up something to make it look better you know when you cut your hair this is makeup when you color your hair makeup how muhammad is allowed to color his hair exactly isn't it makeup muhammad you want to be a redhead why is that muhammad he put perfume Muhammad, good perfume. Yeah, but he's a prophet. He's got special, what, what, special uh, condition. Yeah, brother. why you don't understand? Yeah, why the man? Why the man? He can put perfume and walk in the street, and it's okay in Islam. But the woman, if she put perfume, she is a whore. Shh, don't ask question. Don't challenge. You know? Don't ask any question, brother. Because if the perfume so last time, last time you ask question, don't ask question about yeah. Allah. <laughs> you know the 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 excuse of the perfume. Uh, that's a woman if she walk with perfume in the street she will um, seduce men all right we will go with the same logic if a man he bit perfume and he walk between women he will not seduce them so why the man he can do it the woman she cannot obviously Islam is a man-made religion read with me carefully I'm gonna I'm gonna go CP all right take care my friend God bless you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank po you post uh, give me the link for the video you, you mentioned so we can share it did I send it to you I think okay no problem I will look then okay uh, I think I posted on the uh, Skype all right but it's is in case you're doing any if you intend to show it anywhere all right no I problem. think this video would be better uh, if you're doing it you know as seminars and stuff so all right okay. I just thought uh, you you may have it all right sure sure thank you thank you very much thank all right you. God bless. God bless. All right. Let us see. Read here with me. Even even wearing accessories, Muhammad he forbid women, and the purpose for this is not really about. Muhammad being religious there is a there is different purpose the Prophet of Allah saying any woman who wears a gold necklace will have similar one on fire put on her neck 
on the day of resurrection. Any woman who put gold earring on her ear will have similar one in the fire and put her in the day of resurrection. Okay. The purpose of this, Muhammad, he was asking the women to give their jewelries as a donation. And he, how, how he can convince women who love those jewelries to do that. Tell them, if you wear those jewelries, you'll go to hell. But he want the jewelries. Right? Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Here we go. Read this one with me. The Messenger of Allah said, Any woman who puts perfume, then pass by people so that they can smell her frequency, then she is adulterous. So, I mean, isn't it perfume and people will smell it? Why she is an adulteress? The Prophet himself, he put perfume. Why the prophet, if he put perfume, he is not adulterous. But if a woman, who who is more really? I mean, the man. Why the man? He need the perfume, but the woman, she do not should not do that. Any Muslim can tell us. If the prophet he walk with his perfume between women, he is a good person, and the Muslim they can, the Muslim men they can wear perfume. Everything in this religion is very funny and very weird. Muhammad he claimed that he used to put perfume because angels they like it. Hmm? Let me see if I can find this hadith about the Prophet farting because even the fart of the Prophet is something, it's a perfume. Hmm. Where is the hadith? Yeah, those websites are not easy to find. Anyway, so Muhammad, he can have perfume, but Muslims, they can have perfume. But the rest, they cannot. Women, they cannot. Women, Muslim women, if she take hair from her face, Allah will curse her. Why? We do not know. Have you ever have heard of religion like this? If a man take hair, uh, Muhammad, he order his men to color their hair, to shave their mustache, but if a woman she take hair from her face, Allah will curse her. Even Muhammad, when he uh, uh, like when he wash his clothes, he color it with the zafaran. Why? It's a makeup. Let me see if I can find this one here. Let us see. First patch of paradise. Have you ever heard of religion? This first first patch of paradise and second patch. All right. Uh, this one I cannot find it. Now, this website is horrible, really. You cannot find. Search for something, you find something else. Look what we are finding. Yeah, I have the height in front of me in Arabic, but I can't find it in the, for you in English. No.
not even one. Ibn Umar used to dye his garment with saffron. He you he was asked about that, and he said, Allah Messenger used to dye his clothes with it. With saffron? How you can do that? Why the Prophet is killing his, his clothes with the saffron? The answer is very simple. Muhammad, when he washed his clothes with the Zafaran, they said to you, this guy he was poor. His Zafaran is something cheap. So he washed his clothes with Zafaran in order to make his clothes smell good. That's the whole story. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Muhammad he used to put eyeliner but don't forget uh, don't forget that too the Prophet let me find you the hadith about this one he used to do it three times a day why why a Prophet of God he wanna put eyeliner in his face in his eyes Let us see where we can find the hadith. And actually, actually, Muhammad, not only that, he said that the best of you is the one who put eyeliner. <laughs> the best of you. I can't find this one. Uh, let me see if we can find. There we go. Muhammad is teaching the Muslim men to put eyeliner because it grows their eyelashes. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? So women, they cannot put perfume. Women, they cannot put makeup. But men, Muhammad saying to them, the best of you is the one who use kuhl, because that will make it bright the eyesight and strengthen the growth of the eyelashes. I mean, what Muhammad is a makeup advisor. The best of you, the best of your kohal is enmity and uh, 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 ant me. I'm not sure what the, that means. Yeah, and Ahmad, okay. For it's improved the eyesight and makes their hair eyelashes grow. This is a prophet of God. Isn't it this is a makeup advice? Isn't it eyeliner a makeup? A man he put in kuhl in his eyes. Why? So a woman she put makeup, she is a whore, she is a bad woman, but a man put in makeup trying hard to grow his eyelashes. And there is tons of those stories. The prophet S A W S said. Wear your white garment, for they are among the best garment, and shroud, uh, uh, shroud your dead uh, uh, in them, among the best type of uh, color colorum uh, you use, etc. Vision make their hair source. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Advice for hair, advice for eyeliner, advice for. Muhammad was a, a salon guy. You know, he have a salon open for makeup. Are we lying, Muslims? And actually, Muhammad, he claimed that if you put eyeliner, that will strengthen your vision. You believe it?
Yeah, there is tons of hadith, but we cannot find the problem in English. You cannot find everything. Yeah. Anyway, Mehdi, Mehdi, any Muslim left? Any Muslim? Anyone? Let us see what is the name of the Jew that got Muhammad busted about Mary Kabul Ahbar Kabul Ahbar. Let us see. Let me see if I can find you. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Philip can, can find you. Uh, the story in English. Uh. <clears throat> Let us see. Let me see if I can find it in English. Hold on. That would be good if we can find it. Uh, I'll find it. But, uh, hold, hold on, Ava. Don't uh, hold on, please. This is this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Uh, let me show it to you. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. It says here that Kabul Ahbar he came. Uh, came to Aisha and he said in the front of Aisha in the Maryam Harun Akhi Musa he said Mary but Maryam is not the sister of Aaron the brother of Musa's so Aisha she said to him Kadept you're a liar you're a liar and then he said to her Bakal Ya Ummah Mu'mineen in Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now he gets get scared because she just said to him, you're a liar. So he said, you know what? If the prophet says so, he knows better. And then he continues saying, he is no, he know better and he is truthful, more truthful, and he, he, he have more knowledge. But for me, I find that there is between them more than 600 years. And then she continues said, and then Aisha, she keep her mouth silence. And that will prove that Muhammad, when he came home, he heard Aisha speaking about what Kabul Ahbar said. That this is this is wrong. Kabul Ahbar, he was here. Kabul Ahbar, Kabul Ahbar is not, you know, the, just to translate to you what Kabul Ahbar means. Kabul Ahbar is not a name. Kabul Ahbar is like a bishop for the rabbis. He is like the most important rabbi in the town. This guy. He is saying, confirming to Aisha that this is not right. Mary is not, not the sister of Aaron. And there is between them 600 years. And Aisha, she did not say to him, oh, you get it wrong. No. She said to him, you are a liar. Now he felt the heat. Her husband will come and she will say to him that Kabul Ahbar, he was here and he just said so and so. So he said to save his ass from being killed. He said, "Well, you know what? The prophet know better, know best for sure. I mean, who am I at the end of the day? He is the prophet. He is truthful and he know better. However, as I know, there is more than six hundred years between them. And then Aisha should not say anything addition, and the hate in front of me. So, uh, uh, if you can find the hate in English, that would be good. Go ahead, Eva. How are you?" hi good evening uh i have um actually i had one question uh because -huh. uh, i was debating a muslim earlier and i had to leave the group because he kept uh taking away my comments uh he was sp speaking about something about a bracelet of Krisha or something it should prove that uh muhammad had prophesied about uh, taking over a part of the country and it should be there 
theirs to rule for nine years and then they would le uh, lose it again uh, because of the Persian. Mm, yeah, yeah, but, this uh, is, but this is not what happened, it's the opposite. You see, the, the I know what he's talking about, talking about the Roman. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Romans and the Persian. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I could not find it because I just left the room. I was so fed up. Every time I answered him, he deleted my comments. So I was wondering if <laughs> he, you knew what he was talking about because I was like, Arr! yeah, I'm so out of this group because this is a waste of time. This is in chapter, chapter 30, verse number four. But here the problem is that the Roman, they lost the war. Uh, and Muhammad he said uh, that the Roman they will be victorious again but here there's uh, many mistakes by the way the Muslim they say to us that the Roman they are the Christians at that time the Christians they have their Bible is corrupt but you will notice here that the Quran consider the Roman as believers for they will be victorious and they will rejoice and then he used the word I'm not sure who's calling. Please let us finish answering the person and then you can call me after. Then he says they will they will they will be victorious fi bidda isanin. Bidda in Arabic is an, is an is a word you use between the number three and nine. Three mm -hmm. and nine. If you go and read the, the time when the when the Persian, this verse is mentioned when the Persian took over Jerusalem. The siege, mm -hmm. the siege of Jerusalem. So you can go yeah. and read it. And then go and see what was the final war between the Persian and the Roman, where the Roman was truly victorious. You will find that it passed many years after the nine years, which Muhammad prophesied is going to happen. So this verse actually proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Mm. And here, by the way, Muhammad he says, and after that they will be victorious. Okay, is that is that a victorious? What kind of victory? Those people they are having war for three hundred years before Muhammad. Well, I was asking, and they lose, and they win, and they lose, and they win. So it's very normal. It you see, nine years. You see, if we have a war, and the war happened almost every year, and then I say, okay, this year we are uh, we lost. Uh, next year we will be victorious. It's going to happen. I mean, in a few years we'll be victorious. So what? Uh, where is the prophecy there? Mm? Where, uh, there's no prophecy because those people they have a year, the endless war. However, if this is about, they will be finally victor victorious. Mm -hmm. Then this is a prophecy of final victory, but here the problem is that they will be in if in the word there is Buddha in Arabic the word Buddha mean Maximum nine and minimum is three years So Muhammad here he made a false prophecy Because it was more than nine years. It was not mm -hmm. less It was not less than nine and between nine and three it was more than nine and that make him again a false prophet. So the Muslim they, they try to find it like as a prophecy, but the fact is the opposite. For he uh, did not give us the the, the 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 right prophecy and the right number of years. Same time, <clears throat> uh, if you go and read the verse, and but remember here this verse confirmed that the Roman are believers. Then uh, he said here that Holy Battle Room, fi Adnal Ard. If you ask the Muslims, where is Adna al Ard? What the word Adna mean? The Muslims they made a miracle about it. They say, oh, there is a miracle here. This is about a war happened in the Dead Sea. Go and check out what was what what year was the Dead Sea war between or the fight between the Roman and the Persian, and you will laugh. So mm -hmm. the here the Quran, obviously, the one who is speaking is giving us a very false statement. What is the lowest, or let us say that I'm sorry, the more closed land to Muhammad, where the Roman is defeated? Is that Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. Is that Tabuk? Is that uh, a Jof? Is it uh, etc.? So the 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 statement of Muhammad mean nothing. The Roman were defeated in the more to close or the near in the nearest land. What is that? What is that? Which land? Which uh, because we have. Hundreds of wars happening. Let me see what this guy is calling. Hold on, Ava. Hello? 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 Yes. I'm Saul. So, why are you calling Saul? What do you want? 
No, why you cut my are you Are you willing to say the one who says the earth is left by pillars is a stupid, yes or no? No, I'm asking you. First of all, you're quoting... Then, then shut up. You want to show me? You want to show me an error in the Quran, but you are not willing... Sorry, in the Bible, but you are not willing saying to say this is stupid. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, what I want from him to say this is stupid. <laughs> he don't want to say it. <laughs> you don't want to say it, well, you know, because you're ashamed. Anyway, just to finish uh, answering Ava. Uh, so here there's a very bad mistake in two things. Uh, uh, first of all, if the Muslim, they want to say to us that when Muhammad, he mentioned this verse, it was seven years after the, 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 the fight between when the Roman, they lost Jerusalem. But that means Allah, he did not tell Muhammad, took him seven years to tell Muhammad about what happened. How this happened? Took him seven years for Allah to receive the news about Jerusalem and to send it to Muhammad. Why? The angel was delivery was late. So this verse actually a very clear proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. How you say in a few years, which is brother, which means between three to nine. As you see here in the translation, they didn't that they should say three to nine, by the way. They should not say few years. But that is not just a few years, it is a mag a manual of three to nine. Why did not mention that? You see, all of them they are saying a few years, but the fact it's not just a few, it is a three to nine. Here we go. Look at this guy. This guy is more honest. Look what he said, guys. Within 10 years, actually, it's, it's wrong still because it's not 10 years. It is nine years. Do you see it? Go right now and check how this war happened and when it end. And you will see the nine years number is not happening. What is the biggest victory that the Persian they were celebrating about? It's not about just taking a city. It's about taking Jerusalem. Jerusalem they went in they destroyed the churches they burned the churches they killed a lot of Christians and that why it was a big news it's not just about a normal war otherwise the Persian and the Roman they are fighting for hundreds of years already but this is the time when the Persian get Jerusalem so the news arrive actually you know what why we don't go and see the interpretation of the verse so the Muslims will you know will not say we are making things up, right? Let's go to chapter 30, verse number. Hold on. Uh, you will see here, even they are mentioning here in the interpretation within th seven years from now. Uh, you can read the whole story. Let us go to the book of Scott Asbab and Nuzul. What happened the Arab, because Muhammad at that time, he was claiming to be a believer, trying to be claiming to be a Christian. Literally, trying to be a Christian. So here, in a few years, bid usually means between three to nine or ten years so two armies met again seven years after this former encounter and the Byzantine defeated the Persian to God belong the command before etc so here they are saying that after that seven years after that the Roman they became victorious but this is not true go and check you will find that the war between the Roman, I think between the Roman and the Persian, I think it finished at the uh, 627, something like that, 626, 20, 27. And the, they lost uh, uh, they lost Jerusalem in 614, uh, as I remember. So the number was was far, because how, how, how the final, you see, that's why I mentioned the number seven. 
how here they are trying to cover the mistake by saying it was seven years which mean the, the Roman were victorious seven years after that exactly seven years this is the only way to make it a prophecy and the prophecy come to be true go and check out and see when those people they get Jerusalem back and when they get their final victory because getting Jerusalem alone is not a victory yet victorious they will rejoice the believers they will rejoice for what for victory victory as long the war is not over is not victory yet you can go right now to Wikipedia actually and you can check the, the uh, even they have the name of the you see this history is written very well it's documented it's not like uh, something confusing they have even the name of the leaders the name of the generals the name of the commanders uh, what happened exactly this very well documented history the date of every fight the date of the, the name of every leader who is the captain who is the general who is the commander or etc they have all the names they have all the story what happened in jerusalem how how the siege worked how they were able to enter all these things is documented so here it was a false prophecy in the same time there's a mistake that the byzantine they will be victorious and the believers will shall rejoice question why the believers will rejoice any muslim can tell me let me go back to eva sorry eva we put you on back on hold are you there eva yep okay uh, just yeah. a moment i have to find my skype <laughs> so that i can mute it over right. there. uh because i was um i was trying to figure this out and saying the same thing to this guy uh before i left the group but actually i had another thing for this young south person because when i was looking for an answer for this hmm. stupid guy uh i found sahih muslim book 20 Hmm. Hadith 4688. I don't know if it rings a bell with you. Yeah, what is Hadith about? Is it again? Um, Sahih Muslim, book 20. Hmm. Hadith uh, 4688. Hmm. It's about how Allah is going to judge the martyr who had been battling for Allah. And he says, you did not, you lie. You did it for your own purpose, and the yeah. the scholar comes and says stuff like that. You did it for your own good, and so on. So actually, I wanted to, the South boy to to actually read Sahih Muslim book twenty hadith forty six eighty eight, because that is what he's trying to do. Yeah, you know, actually, well, uh, sorry, uh, just uh, uh, here uh, we have an article written by uh, Sam Shamoon. And here we have some details like history because this is numbers this is not about uh, you know here uh, 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 the admin was posting this link I advise people to go and read because it have better details of the of all the dates you will see here the dates how in the year uh, uh, 620 uh, Hercules uh, invaded Persian Empire etc in December etc so here all of the all of this is documented and you can go and read and check it yourself so if the Muslim consider that this is a proof that Muhammad is a prophet, actually this is the opposite. It's a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. <clears throat> it is not what they claim. Uh, if you read actually here, uh, uh, look like Sam Shamoon here, he did a good study. He said, according to Yusuf Ali, in the Arabic word of a few years, uh, uh, Bada uh, signifies a period of three to nine years. Yet, according to historical record, the victory did not come until early, nearly between years uh, 14 years later the Persian defeated by the Byzantine and captured Jerusalem about uh, uh, 614 or 15 the Byzantine count counter offensive did not begin until AD 622 and the victory was not uh, complete until 628 making the period between 13 to 14 years not a few years as the Quran. And here you will see all the reference for those who like to study. Anything we give you, my friend, go and search it and check it out. That is not a verse to prove Muhammad to be a prophet. That is a verse to prove the opposite. Muhammad is a false prophet again. Mm -hmm. And here 
the question which Muslims refuse to answer why Allah saying the believer will rejoice for the victory of the Byzantium any Muslim can tell me why do we have any Muslim want to tell us, tell us why do you want to say anything else if, uh, additional to this jihad thing about the hadith no okay let, let's give a chance maybe a Muslim will call us maybe we can yeah. get Abdul he can tell us all right yeah. thank you thank you there for calling thank you yeah any Muslim will tell us why the believers will rejoice if the believer, if the Roman, they get victory? Anyone? How in the world the Roman, if we ask the Muslims why the Roman was attacked by Muhammad, they will say they are disbelievers. They will say that Allah, he asked the Roman to, to, to come and join Islam. But the Quran is saying that you are going to rejoice for they are believers being victorious. The Muslims will be victorious or the Byzantine. They will say to you, the Byzantine, who is the one will be, you know, rejoicing? The believers. Which believers? <laughs> Any Muslim can tell me? Why in the world you will be rejoicing for the Roman to be victorious? Because the Roman are the believers. Thank you very much. At that moment, Muhammad was playing that he is a Christian. They were making fun of him because his people, they lost the war. So Muhammad, he felt it's offensive. The news is coming. We as a Christians, we lost the war. So he said, in a few years, within three to nine years, they will be victorious, Allah told me. And it's in front of you otherwise I challenge anyone to tell me why the Muslims will be rejoicing for the Roman being victorious it's like saying to me the Muslim will be rejoicing for Trump being victorious guys are you getting my point why in the world you Muslims will rejoice for the victory of the Roman nobody have an answer but the answer is very simple. Muhammad was playing a Christian at that time, as usual. He played a Jew with the Jew. He played a Buddha with the Buddha. He played Hindu. It's like Obama. Obama, he go to Jerusalem, he wear the Jewish hat. He go to Cairo, he's a Muslim. He go to church, he is a Christian. He go with the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. <laughs> A scam. Muhammad he sat with the with the Arab who worship idols, he worshiped the idols with them. This is what it's called satanic verses, and we have reference of it. Muhammad with the Jews, he took the, the Torah and he swear by the Torah and he said, I believe in the thee and who is the one who sent thee. Muhammad with the Christians, he is rejoicing for the victory of the of the believer, the Roman. Muhammad now is a Christian. Tomorrow is a Hindu. Depend. Depend. He is with who and between who. That is Muhammad. Let me see if. Uh, here we go. This is the video of YouTube for the video here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Guys, this is the video made by Unmasking the Fools. I advise you all of you to save it and watch it and share it. Is the video coming? This is the video uh, and masking the fool he called me and to tell me about this is a, this is a video I made before but he did some editing you know this guy is a really uh, he have a, he have his sense of a humor so like he did some work which is very hard by the way to make a video like those it take a lot of time because you have to look for something fit with this stupid thing etc so I did not watch it yet but I guarantee you it's going to be funny so after we finish watch it click at the click at the link right away open the browser put it in the side and you can watch it after we finish. Anyway, I'm done for tonight. And I hope uh, I, I will try tomorrow uh, if I can. I have a book I'm trying to finish. And this book is about Paul and the Apostles of Jesus and Islam. It's going to be a small book. And actually, one of you, he gave me an uh, like a smart idea. 
is to make a book about animals in Islam and I agree with that person smart idea I will make a book after that after I finish this apostle uh, book and you will be surprised guys about what you will find in the coming book about Paul about the apostle of Jesus and their place in Islam Muslims are stupid when they insult Paul they have no idea what is written about Paul so I hope in maybe in two weeks from now I will finish it because it's going to be small I'm not going to make it big you know the point the point of the book is always to give enough reference to prove your point when you met or you sorry when you meet that uh, that uh, target there's no need to keep writing you know what I mean so I hope maybe in two weeks or three weeks already already I am like in you know I I, I wrote uh, it might be like third 40 pages 50 pages small small tiny book but it's enough for you to refute any Muslim when you attack Paul. And then let us see what the Muslims will say when they notice how stupid their accusation against Paul because they don't know what is written in their books. You see, you will not find one Muslim scholar attacking Paul ever. You will not find one statement of Muhammad attacking Paul ever. And then we need to understand the gap of this history. Why the Muslims today, they are bad mouth in Paul when their history their historian their scholars their prophet never mentioned Paul in a bad word is Zakir Naik he know more than Muhammad maybe did that maybe he know that Paul was bad but Muhammad was an idiot he don't have enough education about Paul and this is what we will discuss in this coming book and you guys you will like it now don't forget for those who did not get my new release book it's already in Amazon it's called six and Allah I advise you to have the book it's very nice one not because it's written by me which is a reason to be nice I agree <laughs> but no it's really a very uh, uh, how many of you have it already how many of you have the book already anyone receive it already I know like the, the one who sent me this uh, pictures for sure he have the books that's why he's taking pictures of them all right uh, Phil he's posting a link you guys maybe you should watch it I want to see I want to see what do you think about the book if you have it already please let me know especially if you have the two volume volume number one and volume two number two now volume number two is kind of a priceless value number one it is the key for value number two, which means you need to read to get both. Don't get one and don't get the other because they complete each other. You know, I made them, I made them two value uh, to separate the topic. In the same time, it's easy to purchase. As simple as that. Uh, so I want to hear. Maybe next time, you guys, if any of you have the books, if you have a questions, if you have a comment, and really, I appreciate any of you if you can make a review by video about the books you don't have to show yourself in the screen you know, I mean in the camera you can point the camera at the books and you talk about it all right and let people see what this book is about say what is negative say what is positive all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here uh, uh, rational he received them okay rational let me know and don't forget by guy by the way after you finish reading the books don't forget please to go to Amazon and make a review you know, most of them they make a review without even buying the book, and I know they will get me one. But even the one, it's good for me, because you know most of them do not know that the more review the book get, even if it's negative, it's mean the book have really good value. And most of them giving me a one star review, it is an honor. It's going to be actually horrible if a Muslim gave me five stars. That's mean my book is garbage, because there's no way. A Muslim will say to me, bless you, unless I am a liar. Unless I'm saying Muhammad is a good man. As simple as that. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will try tomorrow to be here, but I don't promise. As I said, I'm really busy with my book, but I will try to be here, but maybe for a shorter time if I could. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you tomorrow, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we'll see you soon again. Take care.